ユーストリームスタートなんかワクワク Bright underscore green underscore 118 has claimed first Yay タフティクマチェックスインよこそダンドレセクティエットブチェックスインよこそ。アイロベイアバビーゼロナインゼロチェックスインよこそ。そのストレッチディチェックスインよこそ。スコッティグラウンドホグチェックスインよこそおしたまチェックスインよこそブレニュー。Hello, 
really sorry about that. I didn't realize it played earlier and it was delayed. There some, seems to be some issues with the API again. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing it, but... Oh my god! <laughs> okay. That's how I heard it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I stepped away to get some water because I forgot to get my water earlier, so... That's why. <laughs> yes. Um... I don't know if anybody, you know, that plays Genshin watched the program. I started watching it, but I didn't finish it. Hey, hello, Sethi. Sethi83 says hi. But yeah, welcome back, everybody. Uh, congrats to Brighto on getting first again. Necro and Kitsune Sassy. Matrix and Drops oh, the Bye bye Hattons. again. <laughs> and Andre and, and Son of Tragedy. And I love you, baby. Welcome back. Um, I'm Zero. And see here. Scotty! Welcome back. And lurking. Okay, no worries, no worries. Thank you for lurking. Uh, let's see. Hoshi! Good to see you again! I hope you're doing better. I hope you're feeling better anyway. Um, uh, and then we have Necro. And Bear One Beer says hi. Sethi! And Bear One Beer! <laughs> Welcome back. Sethi83 adjusts Panda's emotional support Panda plushie. Wait. Was it there? Now it's not there. I'm confused. Did, did that not go through? Safety? Did, was, did I have my, my panda plushie and then someone took it away? <laughs> I didn't see it go up, so I'm like, no, I hope nothing else is broken. Is it broken? Well, yeah, but I didn't even see it up. That's why I'm confused. Did... No, it didn't start up. It always starts down because it always resets the model every time I shut down. Huh. See, that's not working. Why is that not working? Uh oh, an error occurred. That's why. Yes. Okay. I had to restart the program thingy. I'm sorry. Um. How can I? Can I refund those? I think I can. Let me see. I apologize. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, I can't refund those. Dang Dang it. It. I can't refund those. I can, I can, I can activate it though. Okay, I will. Act I need to find it. Uh, did that work? And that works. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yay! Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, apparently the the VTS React thingy was had an error. It said it said an error occurred and it had shut down. So that's what happened. I'm sorry, but I think I got it all fixed. Ah, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be a stream without scuff, right? It's always a scuff. It's always scuff. <laughs> you hear the what event is coming to FGO Japan later in April? I don't keep track of what happens in the oh, Japanese God. version, Sethi, because. What? I don't, I don't play it, so I don't really know. I, can, I barely even keep up with what is on NA, except for like, what they announce. Uh, in which I know it doesn't, I don't really look ahead so much because I'm just like, uh, there's just too much, it, it's too much information for me to process, I guess. I got given the primo codes though, so now I'm, 100 wishes! Oh my gosh, Necro, that's awesome! Um, speaking of which, I'm sure that, uh, cause for those of you that play Genshin, um, Necro is going to be going after uh, the new unit, um, Arlequino, and probably will be streaming it, so please give them a I'm follow. I'm not killing they're... the raw potatoes, right? I didn't realize <laughs> that they're deadly, and that explains They're the token Aussie, so Aussie of the bamboo force. For the past force. 35 years, every time <laughs> I eat a raw potato, <laughs> all right? I didn't know you meant to, you meant to cook them to, to deactivate poison. <laughs> oh, wow, were you giving a speech about poison and potatoes? I, I, I was, like, trying to catch what it said, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, so please, please do follow them. They are really fun and play, uh, mostly, they mostly play Pokemon and they do art. Um, but I, they also stream Genshin. So yeah, I was just hanging out with them yesterday in my stream and we ran around with Jean. Cause that's all the, right now that's the only four, five star that they have Cutie on their new Panda, account. Panda, I know oh. you are a professional streamer because <laughs> look at all the sweet add-ons you have on stream. It's okay to be poor. I am poor too. We are on the same boat. Yeah, but I mean, it, I I do a lot of research. That's why I, I, I make everything on my own because 
I mean, the profes no, the professional streamers have everybody else do them, you know? Um, but it's it's just, I, I, I have access to a photo, you know, to an old Photoshop. <laughs> and I don't have to pay any money for it. <laughs> um, Kubikabi gives but the panda <laughs> head pat. <laughs> oh, hey, Kubikabi, welcome back. But yes, um, uh, yes, it's an, it's an older version of that. And um, so I can manipulate photos and pictures and whatnot and, and make them the way I want them, I guess. So, yeah. There's a lot of cheap little ad additions on um, Etsy as well. Uh, like the little leaves falling, I think that costs like $8 or something. So yeah, I mean, I, I do buy a few things because I can't make everything myself, but yeah. <laughs> um, birthday is drawing near. Oh, your birthday is coming, drawing near. Yay, yay, Hoshi. Happy early birthday. I didn't see it. No yeah, sorry about that. Um, I fixed the plushy thing. Did I miss something? Um, I'm trying to scroll up to see if I missed anything else. Uh, fair enough. I keep an eye out to see if anything's worth saving for. That makes sense, Sethi. That makes a lot of sense. Especially if you play, if you are free to play. Um, I just, because they're two years in advance. I, mean, I usually just depend on, uh, street, uh, you know, when I stream and people inform me, uh, what's coming up. Like, for instance, that's how I found out that uh, autocrade's coming so it was just like okay i found out like late last year and i was like oh no i have to save so yeah that i saving i'm trying to save but yeah hey how are you doing kubi kubi welcome back um it's a witch on the holy night crossover wait witch on the holy night cross what is that oh sequel to sukihime really okay so that's why you're bringing it up Okay, I have not seen that before. I love you, baby. Oh nine oh adjusts pants. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Snoochies, welcome back. Uh, cutie candy. Oh, sorry, I already read that. that. Um, I was defend defending me eating raw potatoes and not knowing they were slightly. <gasps> Isn't hard raw potatoes like really hard though? How can you? How can you eat that? But thank you for the yes. No, no, no. You are the champion. Thank you, Necro, for being here. Um. I, I just want to say, you know, if you're excited about polls, if you like watching people poll, and, you know, um, this is their third account now, so it's not that they're new, they just have a new account. Um, they've been playing pretty much from the beginning, I think, on and off. But anyway, yeah, if you like to watch people poll, and you want to watch someone um, very entertaining, <laughs> very entertaining poll for Alakino, I highly recommend watch, uh, following Necro and watching for that, because they're probably going to do that first day. It come, it's available, right? Um, I heard poison, right? Where can I taste it? <laughs> I, I guess, I guess potatoes are poisonous, uncooked. I, 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 I read slightly something about that, but I don't know how that all works. <laughs> um, what do you mean? Sh yeah, sh it's legally. Yeah, it is legally purchased, but Adobe wants to like charge everybody, and they don't want you to use a free copy or something. So that's why. Yeah, it is legal. It is. We did buy it legally, so it's just it's not falling under the subscription base thingy. Um, I'm sorry for the emote. I forgot. Wait. Oh, oh, the attack emote. No, it's okay. I understand, Andre. I know. I just I just don't want anybody to feel like you know. <laughs> I know I know you weren't doing that towards anybody, so I appreciate that you didn't do it towards somebody. You're just being like silly about it. I get it. Uh, yeah, we did buy it in the store. We did not. We did not pirate it anything. We did legally buy that copy. It's just it doesn't fall into the subscription base, but I think they want everything to be subscription base, so... Eh. Oh, and hey, Cage! Welcome back! Welcome back, welcome back! Good to see you again. Um, another fellow streamer. Cage. Who we, uh, raided the... Right, wait, who raided us the other day. That's right. They also all uh, play, um, Genshin. Are you also gonna be pulling for Alakino, Cage? I, I, I don't know if I asked you that already. If I did, I apologize. My memory sucks. So I'm sorry if I keep asking people something like that. About to eat. Oh, yeah. Have a good sleep, uh, Kubi. Thank you again for stopping by. I know it's really late there. And uh, at least somewhere in Asia, anyway. Yeah, please get some good rest. And thank you for stopping by. It's good to see you again. On the road home, but I'll settle in proper when I'm home. Oh, okay, no worries. No worries. No worries. Thank you, Cage. And it was just, just a small world because Cage has been following Safty on, uh, well, what was once Twitter, 
um, back in the day when we uh, used to regularly play Dragalia Lost until it, you know, and so they were following each other on Twitter for I didn't even know this, but they were for the, for a while. Anyway, that was really, it's just like a small world made even smaller, right? Because they're just like, hey, I know that name. <laughs> and even Safty, before Cage pointed it out, Safty was like, Cage, Cage Nightwing, Cage Nightwing. Why does that name look so familiar? And he's like, I think I was following them on Twitter. I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, I think so, I think. And then, and they kind of, it was like the a couple nights ago when it happened. Um, and then suddenly it's just, it's just like, it's funny to see people reconnect, you know? Uh, fun fact, uh, Final Fantasy XIV has an <laughs> actual common minion called the GG. Oh yeah, the GG, the little entrail is rumored to have a gold saucer roulette where they can be in the running to win a rare minion. Every 80 pulls will at least guarantee you a minion, but you risk, you run the risk of getting a common minion. So just like Genshin and Chi Chi, you can lose the role and get a G. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That crow, is that real or is that, you're just being silly? I'm really confused about that. I've got another, oh, 800 Saint Courts. Wow, a combination of Saint Courts and Fragments saved our Lucky, Sethi, I, I kept, I kept spending. My problem is I keep spending. Um, I don't have near anything near that. I only have uh, 150. <laughs> I am in trouble. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any copies of her, but I really want some copies. I would love to get her to NP2, but I don't think I'm going to unless I'm like super lucky, which it, it, it probably won't happen. I'm, sk I'm skipping the... Oh, you're skipping Alakino. Okay, same here, Kubi, actually. I'm not, I'm not pulling. I think she's scary. I, I'm sorry. I find her really scary. I am still rolling for Alakino when she appears. Yes, you're definitely... Yes, I know. Yeah, definitely. Um... Let's see here. Good day, Kate. Yes. Uh, oh, Krita. Yeah, Safty now uses Krita. And I'd like a pony. <laughs> and I got our, our Akron today on. Oh, okay. That's the. um. That's the Raiden lookalike, right? Or the Raiden export, or whatever they call it, XP, I guess. Um, I don't really know the characters in that game, but I, I think enough people have said it that I think that's that person. Now my savings are bunked, so I need to save for later. And he's like, oh, I see, I see. My savings are bucked. Yeah, that's that's always fun about gotchas, eh? And thanks for the, no, no, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. I'm being silly. Okay, I'm glad. I'm like, I know there is a there is a minion named Gigi though, isn't there? It's like the little yeah, the second Hildebrand quest. So yes, that's why I can't tell sometimes when Necro's being serious or being silly. But yeah, I guess you could pull a Gigi technically. But anyway. Yeah, the other universe raid in May. Yeah, okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right, I'm gonna switch screens now. Today is FTO day. Um, this is the, I, I already finished the event because it's done, but you can still work on it, um, which I thought was cool because you can go in and change what you wanted, like remake weapons. You can, um, I, I was a half asleep when I did this originally. So I think I wanna change the weapons to the katana. Um, oh, you still have to use these things. Oh, give them spears, katana, and pile, pile bunkers? I think I picked the katana on accident. So, never mind. What am I doing? Um, uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Armor, armor. I think it was the armor. But pulling Chi Chi in Genshin is a win. Yeah, I agree, Hoshi. I agree. I'm confused now. <laughs> I like Chi Chi personally, so let's see here. Um, Genji armor. Oh, Genji armor. Roman armor and Mecha armor. I want to see this. I want to see what this is like. Genji Shingun. Oh, that's so cute. I just want to do this before I go on to Lost Belt Five because, oh my God, look at them! Waha, am I invisible now? Invincible, sorry. This helmet's so hard. I could take on anything now. Good, good. You all look stunning. But I have to ask. Why aren't you wearing the armor too, Master? I was looking forward to heading out to battle and matching outfits. I already have my mystic coat. So, this is about the con, not me. Yeah. Safety gets it. GG is based on the VV. Oh yeah, VV, that's right. It was based on the classic black mage from the... That's true, that's true. 
Now, I am Ushi Wo... Wo is Maru? Oh my gosh. She, she's punning her name. But the pity party can come later. Now it is time for battle. It's been too long since I've led subordinates into a battlefield. I can't wait to get in there and start taking heads. Idiot student, that would ruin this entire plan. Mentor? The whole point of the strategy is to let the Khan deal with the finishing blows, remember? This is exactly why Benkei didn't want you to come here, nor did I. I swear, every time there's a, even a hint of conflict, it's non-stop decapitation talk with you. <laughs> oh, what, what is it you're doing here, Mentor? <laughs> Frankly, I'm here as your chaperone. I've never met anyone who struggles with basic instructions like leave them with a shred of hope as much as you. Shred, huh? So instead of a clean cut, just leave their heads dangling on a shred of- Oh my god! This- this- this conversation- <laughs> Shed of skin, the Khan can easily cut through and finish the job. Oh my god. <laughs> the dot dot dot. Huh? What is it, Mentor? Is that not what you meant? <laughs> No, you moron! Did you not hear a word I just said? So you two are mentor and student, huh? That that's so nice. You, you and you obviously get along well. See, I spent I spent uh, Saint Courts to get these guys, and I shouldn't have, but I did because I really shouldn't have because I already have ben, um, Benny Enma or uh, you know Dechi, uh, the, the cute one. She's a single target arts user, and so are these. And I'm like, but I like the artwork, so I I. I I'm so bad with this. I am so bad. Ushi should have gone into cheating mode. Right, Sethi? Right? Not as well as we do, though, because then she would match the con, right? How is this getting along? Hmm. All right, let's see what you've, we've got here. Huh? This is what I've been asked to do. There's a reason I'm such a great mentor, you know? Now then. Hmm? What in the world are these creatures? Are you sure they're alive? Could it be they're... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. They almost remind me of my favorite sweet dumplings! Oh no. Thanks. <laughs> they took it as a compliment. Our goal here is actually to make sure they don't get eaten though. Of course. Forgive me. <laughs> okay. Let's forget about figuring out what they are then. At least for now. Hmm. I guess I can lend my assistance. Are you ready, Shanao? I'm going to help out a little, too. Mmm, that's going to put a crimp on my style. <laughs> but alright, if we're gonna do this, let's do it. Also, I come with a message from Lady Raiko. Uh-oh, Raiko. Now that you're wearing Genji armor, you are all essentially Genji warriors. Be sure to fight accordingly, with honor and valor. And on that note, allow me to say this in your place. Oh! I got more like ya! Hi, a person! Welcome back, thank you for the bits! We get on the screen. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I, I I can't believe you still give them that much bits, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great night if you're going right to bed. Which you usually do. But yeah, I'm just playing Fate Grand Order right now and we're just I'm just going through an old story. Hey Crayon! Welcome back. And other than that, allow me to sit say this in the Oh thank you for checking in too, Necro! See, Crayon is still alive, thankfully. We were worried for... Not nothing, but we were, we were worried. Oh, thank you, a person, for checking in as well. But yeah, because uh, Crayon had to cut down a tree and then passed out because I can only imagine what cutting down a tree... Uh, uh, what kind of energy that costs to uh, to cut down a tree. But anyway, um, I'm just glad that they're okay. But yes, they missed out on our Chi Chi challenge, or, or I guess it was actually Jean challenge. Jean, 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 Jean challenge? I think that's what Necro called it. Jean, 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 Jean challenge? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't have a, a cute, as cute of a, a ring to it, but yeah. Jean challenge, just Jean challenge. Okay, okay. I, I, and I, and I, I, I know, because uh, uh, now, now, crayon because um, the Chi Chi challenge was, uh, uh, you know, four, you know, all four players, including myself, picks one character and we all run around the map with them, right? Um, so apparently... Uh... Oh no! Ah! <laughs> <drops their bamboo cutting. laughs> bye bye. Jean Jeopardy? <laughs> food eat! Oh, thank you in person! Ah, uh, force food. <laughs> force feeding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't believe the 26 bits or the... 
No, no, no. I, 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 I just think I'm just amazed that it's added up that much, a person. There's no stupid amount. I really appreciate anything. There's no stupid amounts. Um, you don't even really have to send anything. I, I just appreciate that you stop by and say hi. So thank you. That makes my day as as long. I'm just, I'm just, I'm looking at the total given. Like, it's added up that much over time, and I'm just amazed that you would even, would even consider spending that much on somebody like me. So thank you. I really appreciate it, person. I really mean it. So. I was just like, I can't believe just how much little things like that can add up, right? Um, that's all. It was it, it was nothing negative about that. There's no stupid and I, I appreciate the fact that you even bother. So thank you. Came for the Arlequino Arl Arl I Arl Oh, I see. Cause it's this. It's like Arlequino Arlequinage. Arlequinage. But I don't have that. Maybe Necro, you can do that on your channel. I'm not gonna have Arlequino to do the Arlequ. I was like, okay, my tongue is like not working. I like, I like challenge. I like, yeah, I like Kino. I like, la 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 la. Wow, it's twisting my tongue. I like Kino. I like how is it? I like challenge still or uh, challenge? I don't know. <laughs> I'll make the fuck it all cheaper than no, 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 no. I, a person, I am. I don't want you don't have to spend anything. I, but the only reason why I put that on there because I don't want people to spam it. So if I if I made it free like everything else, people would spam it, <laughs> and that's why I don't want it. The only reason why I put some with um, bits on it is just because I don't want I don't want people to spam that. That's all. I'm sorry, person. I'm sorry. Stupid amount is whatever my income tax. That's true, Hoshi. All taxes is dumb. I I agree with taxes. Taxes are stupid. We had to pay a lot of money because yeah. Uh, mostly it is because like when you know you you make any kind of income even with from like twitch and they don't take out taxes you have to end up paying uh, whatever they tell you you have to pay whatever bracket we're in. I don't even know what bracket we're in safety does all that but anyway so we ended up having to pay money so yay <laughs> and that sucks oh hey Shuri good to see you again welcome back are you excited it's only like 10 more days until your favorite Arlequino um, uh, shows up uh, let's see here. She's not my. She's not pulling. No, I'm not pulling. But my Necro's pulling. Maybe Necro can do the Arlequino. Arlequino. Arle, 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 I can't say. Arlequinage? It sounds weird saying it. Anyway, yeah. Arlequino. Arlequinage. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm like catching my tongue. But yes. Um, no, Safty's not pulling either. Safty doesn't want. Safty's broke. <laughs> um, he went all in for um, who did you go all in for? Navia. Um, who else did you go in for, Safty? He's working right now, so Farina. That's right, Farina, because he went for F, F two. <laughs> no, uh, C two, C two. Um, Farina. Oh, quack! Hey, look, 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 look! You quacked at. You can quack at Crayon yourself. Crayon's good. I'm glad. See, Crayon's alive. We're, we're, I'm, I'm happy to see that they're alive. They were cutting down a tree. Outfits in the... I'm sorry! Yes, I know, Luck! I, I, okay, I, I... Don't try to pay attention to the... <laughs> this game is not very fr family-friendly. I get it, but I, I like... I like I like Saber. She's fully clothed. That's not the reason why I play this. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, I saw the live stream and it was great. Yeah, you have to fight her. I, I saw part of it. I, I wasn't able to finish it, but I'm going to finish it later after stream or something. Cause I didn't have time today to, to sit down and watch it, but yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks for pointing that out, Luck. She is called Arl, Arlen No for Arlen No? Arlen No? Arlen No. Arle, oh, Arlechino. I see. Arlechino for a reason. Oh, you're not pulling for her either, Hoshi? I know so many people are. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Safty's not. Um, but I know Crayon and Necro and Shuri and Sun Loops and uh, I said Crayon, right? I think all of them are doing it. Um, doing tax returns is funny to me. It's auto taken from my paychecks, nice and easy. You're lucky. I mean, it, most most times it is a person, but if like you stream and stuff like that, or if you do side jigs, um, they don't usually take your taxes out for you. So that's the problem. And now a person honks that log. That's too funny. So yeah, like um, my streaming thing, any money I make on this, um, even if it is just like, a, you know, under 100, you still have to pay taxes on it. So that's why. 
Um, yeah, so it adds up. I mean, I, 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 I make enough for like half of a week's of groceries. How's that? <laughs> but I appreciate everything. So it's not like, any, any that helps. Yokoso. Oh, thank you for checking in. Um, a straight. Oh, no, Shuri. That was Shuri. Sorry. Hi, Stray. Welcome back. I'm um, sorry. I'm still behind on chat. Uh, our car, uh, according to the Arlequina Arca. I can't say that, Necro. <laughs> Arlequino, Arle Challenge, Arle Arle Cardinal. Oh my god. I'm getting pummeled by bamboo. C2 Raiden. Yes, Safti has a C2 Raiden, has a C2 Farina, has a C2. a C4 Eula. He has a lot of characters, but he makes money so he can buy it. But he doesn't buy the packages once he's bought them once. He's one of those people. He only wants to get it once to get the bonus, and that's it. So, he's broke, and so he's not gonna pull for anybody for a while. Hey honey, you're alive and healthy. Yes, yes, your husband is alive and healthy. Duck Doko. Yes, Duck Doko. It's, it's, it's luck right there. Luck is the duck. <laughs> um, but you want to eat the duck? No, 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 no. Don't eat the duck. Don't. <laughs> Bear, you're not supposed to eat the duck. Oh no, I just saw your emote. Oh my gosh, luck. Did you see the emote that Bear of Beer? Oh, it was the, he's like nomming on a duck. No! I know you're Asian, but you don't be that Asian. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I duck, I quack, oh my gosh. Oh no, hey babe, alive and healthy might be stretching <laughs> Oh no, 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 Kreya, don't, don't. I goose the powerful stunker honker duck. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are silly. I massive pulled. Yeah, Shuri's going C6, aren't you, Shuri? You guys are silly. I still have no reason or nor desire to touch a Fatui character or be five kilometers distance from them. You know, everybody has their taste, right, Yoshi? I mean, I, I kind of in the same boat. I don't want to pull for them, but it's not because I don't like them. I just, I'm scared of, um, I'm scared of Arlequino, personally. Um, but thank you for checking in, Shuri. <laughs> it says two times, and I know it's funny because you've been here, like, one of the longest. Hey, Strawberry, thank you so much for checking in. I'm still catching up on, uh, on, on, on chat, sorry. Uh, but yeah, hi, Straight. how are you doing today? Um, yeah, I visited two times now. <laughs> That's what I was thinking was so funny. Yeah, for, for context, Shuri's been here pretty much since I started streaming, so... It's just funny to see that two times. I know I just added that because I didn't know it existed until like January, and it was thanks to Race. Race taught taught me how to. Safety programmed it. It's called it's a program called Sammy S A M M I, <laughs> Sammy Core, and that's what I have to use to do the counting. I don't know if there's anything else out there, but that's the one I've been using. And Safety had to program it because it has some like programming in it that involved. So I'm like, huh. <laughs> Um, taxes on 100 bucks, the fuck, no wonder Americans are broke. Yeah, well, okay, so the thing is, it's not just 100, but it's like 100 a month kind of thing. Um, but we also have other stuff, like we have savings accounts that we have to pay taxes on. Uh, a saving account, I'm sorry. Not state, like, you know, I don't have multiple savings accounts, but we have a saving account that you have to pay taxes on the interest that you make on it. It's really dumb. It's really dumb. Stop it's it. Get some help. <laughs> They nickel and dime you everywhere here. Beware the honk. Yes, beware the honk. I didn't see the emote. Uh oh. <laughs> duck rotisserie though. I I don't actually like duck meat. My mom and dad loved it, and they they always served duck, roasted duck, and all kinds of duck. And I don't really like duck meat. They say it tastes like chicken, but I don't think so. Duck meat is tougher. I'm sorry. Not that. No, I'm sorry, Luck. I don't mean to talk about your kid that way, but. I don't really like the taste of duck. I don't like the texture of duck. I like this emote. Oh no! <laughs> I'm a duck and I quack 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 and I quack quack quack. Yeah, I know! <laughs> and welcome back Star Mage. Hello! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm starting to get it caught up. One goose versus 100 ducks. Victor is the goose. Why? Why is that? I would think numbers are... Uh, numbers would, you know, and when I think of 100 ducks, I think of like the... The chickens that attack you and link. <laughs> Articuno. Articuno. What's Articuno? Uh, prove it. Uh oh. Look at all these chickens. Oh no. Um. 
Stop it, get some help. Oh gosh, I shall. Okay. Duck meat does not taste like chicken. Hmm, duck. No, it doesn't taste like chicken. Chicken is... Picking duck is king. I... I just don't like duck. I don't like the taste. Of, I don't like the, the texture of duck. Goose is stronger than puny ducks. Aw, no, I don't think that's true. Genji events. Oh no, they're so cute. I'm gonna run away from Goose by lurking. Okay, have a good lurk luck. <laughs> You're gonna run. You're so funny. Wait, you still get apples from doing these? Oh, okay, I see, I see. Um, you make armor. Wait. I already did remake armor. That's weird. Um, mobile defense facility remake ride. Floating residence? Oh, cultural facility. Oh, okay, okay. I think this is... I can go back now, Crayon, and redeem what I didn't redeem last time. Because I cheated. I wanted to see what that thing was. Um... Where is it? No, that wasn't it. That was something else. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Floating Residence Remake Ship? I think that was Remake Ship, right? It tied, though. Which one did you want? Um... Utsudo Bune? Oh, yeah, that's the one I had. Um... Did you want the Hovercraft or the Pirate Ship? Hang on. See, I can go back and spend the, the, the little guy thingies, these things, and then redeem it now. Did you want the hovercraft or did you want the pirate ship? Because remember when I I, I, I did the demise? <laughs> it wasn't, I think someone called me a dictatorship or something. Peking duck is tasty. Peking duck is sister. <laughs> oh no. Add some soy sauce too. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, poor luck. Um, ciao, Duck Lord. Yes, ciao, Duck Lord. <laughs> There's only one way to settle this. Foul combat? No, we don't need foul combat. Oh, I can't remember. I just spent all my points on what you didn't want. Ow, I see, I see. Well, here, I'll pick the hovercraft and see what that's like. Because I have more of the... I have more of those guys. You see, I have 1,300 and only 300 of these guys, so... I, I, I'm gonna use these because I have more of them. Wait. Yeah. I was also redeeming for the extra apples, but farming con is hard. Yes, farming con is hard. Oh, hey, there's the hovercraft. Aw, it's so cute. Anyways, guys, the lurk. I'm being anime nerd tonight. Oh, have a good one. Enjoy your anime. I, I, I've been watching a lot of anime, too. Rewatching uh, Slime, for instance. Because I forgot what happened two years ago. <laughs> uh, while my neck recovers. <laughs> oh my god, Necro the Angry Duck with this song playing is hilarious. At the same time? <laughs> oh my god, the timing of that though. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die laughing. Yes, season three, episode one just came out. Need to watch that. Yeah, yeah. I just forgot what happened, so I've been re-watching it while I recover my neck. Um, I can't turn to the right right now because it's just, it's all locked up right now, so it hurts. And yeah, but yeah, have a good night, a person. Thank you, enjoy your anime. Uh, woo. This is insane, it's so fast. It's so freaking gliding on water. A whole new way to enjoy the waves. Aha, so fast! I never felt like this before. Yeah, you guys like it too, huh? That's good, since you're gonna be my soldiers. And my soldiers gotta have, be brave and fierce. They've gotta march at lightning speed. Now come on. With this bad boy, we can rip any wave out there. <laughs> um, Mordred, this is still just a test run. Yes, the cockpit may have a windshield, but the back is still open. If you go too fast, you might... Ah... <laughs> bye bye con stop that Mordred this is exactly why you need to drive safer <laughs> you can't just send the con flying like that <laughs> she's she's technically a knight of the round table too must must be why she's got that riding skill 
<laughs> but let's see if you can keep up with my surfing speed. Oh no. So now you're speeding up? Grr, this rebellious phase of yours has really gotten old, Mordred. Alright, if that's how you're going to want to play, fine. Signaling the shower? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, how this saddens me. <laughs> to think that I must do something like this to stop a fellow knight of the round table's rampage. Oh no, they had to get all the guys in, in their swimsuits, I guess. This is not merely a test run, Sir Tristan. This is also a lesson of na in naval warfare. This is why our king, who is not our king, I employ you to give more to this lesson yourself, if it is not too much trouble. Oh no, it's Altri- Oh my gosh, it's Alter. Very well, Sir Gawain. <laughs> in this guise, I am more than just a maid. I am a- I'm also a coach. I need only impart a lesson to the delinquent on the hovercraft, yes? Never mind who that may be. Yes, my liege. <laughs> Very well then. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! She's doing her noble phantasm! Okay, I didn't see this one, but this is hilarious. The hell? Is that a sniper rifle on <laughs> fire? Yeah, I mean, I don't know who's doing it, but no way am I getting hit here. <laughs> Time for some evasive action. Okay, and here comes a big wave. Right now, I'm gonna nail this. We're knights of the round table, we dance wiener. We're able, we do routines and chorus scenes with footwork impeccable. We dine well here in Camelot. We eat ham and jam and spam a lot. Oh no, Safty. <laughs> Can't turn neck. Maybe I am not going to frighten people with my medical knowledge about that topic. No, it's just all locked up, Hoshi. It's... Everything just really hurts because I, 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 I overdid it when I was cleaning and lifting a bunch of groceries up three flights of stairs while Safdie was away. So I'm kind of recovering from all of that. It's only a model. <laughs> what do you mean it's only a model? Uh, I'm gonna I'm nail this bitch with a perfect 360. <laughs> oh no. What impudence. It appears we have quite the re recalcitrant. What the heck is a recalcitrant? On our hands, one on our hands. Very well then, it seems I need to hold back. Uh oh. All the gunshots, what the heck is she trying to do to Mordred? Um, should we do something about that? <laughs> For a lesson, it sure seems like both sides are taking things a little too seriously. We should probably at least make sure they don't destroy the ship. <laughs> Okay, that, that story was actually... Oh! Camelot. I see, I see. I think he was trying to do that where Knights of the Round, uh, round Table song that is an... Uh, there's another song that he really likes from um, the Monty Python uh, musical. Um, like something about Lancelot. He dances a lot. Something, something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what else is there? Uh, defense facility. Oh, okay. So that's when I can build. I can't keep doing because getting these cons is really hard. So let's see. We make ride. What? What's the ride? I know I picked the train because of it did win the vote, but um, there was a train. Supercars, mechanical bulls, or a bimana? Wait, wait, wait. Was that the wrong one? I'm really confused. The supercars looks really funny, though. Um, mechanical bulls, I think I have them on the bimana, which is the spaceship thingy. Um... Oh man, I'm really running out of cons, <laughs> so I was like, ah, uh, maybe I should just keep him on that. It was the... Uh, defense facility? Watchtower armor. I, oh, mobile defense, okay, it is the mobile defense facility. I want to see what the Great Wall was. Um, mechanical... No, let's build a theater. Arcade. There is the train, the Great Wall. 
Um, Trojan horse. Hmm. Oh, hey, Chris. Welcome back. How are you? How's even? Yeah, I finished it already. I'm just going back in and see what I can change. Um, I wanted to see what this Great Wall one was. This is that one. The other event was really funny. Thanks. I'm book shopping an MP Holy Grail. Is it not? <laughs> Monty Python Holy Grail is on my cart now. Wait, wait, wait. Book shopping? They have books? I thought it was a movie. But have you heard of the tale of the Brave Sir Robin? Oh, Brave Sir Robin, yes. Uh, I, I, think, I think that's a song too in there, isn't there? Or something like that? That's good. I'm just going back to Taisu writing. Um, see, these things cost so freaking much. Why do they cost so much? I don't have that much. What's Taisu grinding? Taisu grinding? Okay, anyway. Um, I did finish it. I think... I didn't... I think the only things I didn't buy were those things and... Um, those things? The deadly poisonous needles? I think that's the only things I haven't bought until they released the con ones. Um, although I need to buy more of these um, keys because I'm running out of the blue keys. Uh, well, not running out, but I have I have less of them. So, oh wait, I can only buy one, so I'll buy one. Um, Bravely bold, Sir Robin rode forth from Camelot. Dot. He was not afraid to die. Oh, brave Sir Robin. He was not at all afraid to be killed in nasty ways. Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin. Oh no. Of course you had to pick Deadpool to say it, right? Deadly poisonous needles. Yes, deadly poisonous needles. Or are you not done? I am done. I'm just, uh, I got everything from there. I just haven't, I don't know what, um, multiple? Oh, that's good. Oh, the Taisu. Oh, wait. That's the free unit, right? Yeah, I already I already did those. Sorry, I forgot the name of that. I just been calling him Khan just because it's so easy. I did all those side quests to get copies of him, um, and I leveled him up. I just forgot that his name is Taisui. I, I, it's the free unit, the the welfare unit, I guess they call it. Um, where is he? Uh, I'm blind. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, here he is. Sometimes it's hard because his face is not facing forward. But yeah, I got all the copies of him. He's at NP5. Yeah, NP5. Um, if if anybody needs it, I mean, I obviously, you know, if you're um <laughs> farming for the cons, I have. Uh, wait. I have it set up so that um, she has the uh, max limit break one, so that they, they drop three cons per per drop, and then I have just the single one on him because I can't. I haven't I haven't gotten any more of these uh, craft essences, so I think I only have three extras and plus fan MLB, so that sucks. Anyway, so if you want to use, I know it's a pain because you can't really use her as a single target MP, so you can't really farm as fast. But if you want an extra con drop there she drops all three or they drop all three should i say and um i also have the maximum break uh thingy on there can i have them if you don't want them wait can i have what oh the deadly poisonous needles no <laughs> no it, it, it's just a, it's just a cur it's just something it's it's a um ascension material in this game yeah they have welfare he's decent he is decent oh i didn't know if he's good or not i just got him I like to get them all, but I don't know what is good or not. He is especially good for the next event. CQ oh! I've never done challenge quests, so I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm this far in. <laughs> That's all I have done in Olympus. I try to do some more offline, but it's just... I, it's really hard to find time to do things. Um. So yeah, so we're working on Olympus on Lost Belt 5. Um, yeah. Thou art the harvest that reaps the stars? He's like a mini doman. Oh, mini doman. But also I'm excited for JPFGO late April. Oh, what, what's going on in late April? Uh, when, when I gaze up at the sky for the next event. Oh, okay, next event. 
I'm able to forget the horrible atrocities taking place beneath me, if only for a moment. My beloved humans, my dear darling humans, born for the sole purpose of being loved. I'm so, so sorry. I'm such a terrible mother, taking life as readily as I give it. <clears throat> Countless lies burst apart and vanish. Pass over with Mahoyo? Maho ma Mahoyo. Mahoyo. Is that what... Uh, I think Sethi was saying earlier they are doing something with the second part of Tsukihime or something like that? Is that what it's called in Japanese? I haven't actually watched the... Or if there is a watch or is it just manga? Um, the sequel to, to uh, Tsukihime? I didn't know there was more. <laughs> I'm so behind on everything. But it's okay. Please, there's no need to worry. This is the eternal cycle. Which on the Holy Night is Mahoyo... Oh, it's a... Uh, okay, it's a visual novel. Okay. I figured that would be also made by Nasu. I mean, it makes sense because he made the other ones. Um, okay. I have never actually tackled or touched any of the visual novels of this. I only watched the anime. I know that's pretty lame. But that's probably why also I didn't know that this game can be on the uh, etchy side. Because, um, yeah, I never went into that. But it's getting a crossover. Oh, okay, okay. So kind of like... How they are they introduced our crate in here and also Bloody Cheeky. Crayon wants you to do the thing. Get up and stand two feet away from Safety and stare. He's in the restroom. I'm not gonna do that. Wait. <laughs> Until he gives me a high five. How is that? He he's yeah, he stepped away, so he's not here. <laughs> I'll wait on that one. Um, but it's okay, please. There's no need to worry. This is the eternal cycle. Oh sorry. Slaughter Rebirth, Slaughter Rebirth, Slaughter Rebirth, Slaughter Rebirth. So what significance could there be in speeding that cycle up a bit here? Yes, that's right, isn't it? What? Being alive, being dead, it's all the same. There is no significance. Okay. Also, the Mahoyo... It sounds like you're saying Mihoyo, so that's like, wait, wait, wait. Mahoyo uh, visual novel is on Steam. You should get it. Also, it's not ed that edgy. <laughs> it's not that edgy. I, I get it, yeah. Um, maybe, I mean, I don't know. I, there's a lot of things that I haven't... I've never touched any of the visual novels of any of, uh, Nazuverse. I, I've only watched some of the anime, like, mostly the Fate, Stay Night, Fate Zero, um, us, uh, you know, Kana no Kyokai, and, uh, um, uh, Tsukihime. And that was a long time ago when I watched those, like, when they first came out, so... I think they came out, like, in mid-2000s or something? Or one of them did. I know that Kyoto no Kyokai was around that time. I forgot now. It's been a while. Um, that's all I know. And I don't remember all the contacts. I just know that, like, Shiki could cut the lines. Uh, the lifelines and stuff, so. I just know that most of the visual novels tend to be, uh, more, uh, on that direction. And I don't really care for that stuff. What, my, what may seem not that etchy to some people is pretty extreme for me. Because I just have very low tolerance for anything... Of that sort, I guess. So that's why. Um, even like violence and gore and just, yeah, I'm not very keen on it. That's all. Actually, I don't think it's Echi, but the artist is the same artist for Scotty and Skahawk, which is cool. Oh, I see, I see. Um, I didn't know that they used that artist instead of like the other ones. Oh, hey, Cage, welcome back. Um, and I'm glad to hear that you made it home safely. That's good, that's good. Why, why are you saluting? <laughs> uh, being alive, being dead. Okay, sir, there's no significance. Some some of these stories are pretty dark, aren't they? All the same. Huh? Persephone, is that you? In that case, mother. I guess you won't mind if I stay dead, too. Wow. That's dark. Ah, ah. Violence and gore? Oh, I want steak for dinner. Oh, gosh. Crayon, no! It's very nice. I'd definitely say to try that. And also, I think it's getting a movie. Oh, it's getting a movie. Okay. That wouldn't surprise me. They seem to adapt a lot of their stuff into anime. Yeah, everyone has a difference tolerance for Edgy's fan service, even if that tolerance is zero. Yeah, that's true. I just... I don't know. I, I guess some of it is trauma-related, but also this... I, preference um my personal preference i'm not uh i just don't really i don't know it just it bothers me when it gets too uh when some things get a little too graphic it's just like okay that's that's 
Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see here. Ah, uh, wait, what? Why? Okay, she's screaming. I'm guessing that's a scream. Um, wow. Did this, someone forget to stop holding their A key? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's got an O T T nowadays for sure. What's O T T mean? Okay, she's screaming now. I guess she is screaming. Oh, over the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, in, in, in that sense, you can say that if you look in the right places even before, like pre-internet days, you can find the over the top stuff. But nowadays, I guess it's just a lot easier to come by. Maybe? Um, I don't know. I think it is, and that's why I, I tend to avoid searching stuff online, because I always... Everything can be twisted into something else, and I'm just like, oh boy, that's not what I was looking up. For instance, like, I use I, the, the, throwing tw uh, the throwing program on here that the creator decided to call it... Mm, the acronym is T-I-T-S. And it's like, when you try to look that one up, uh, you find a lot of interesting, not, not what you were wanting to pictures. Well, unless you really want to look for that. But that's not what I wanted to look up, and so that's... It's always a, a interesting bag of yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. It's it they 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 made the acronym um Twitch no, integrative no, drawing God, system. Please, no. Literally. Oh boy. She doesn't look happy. Oh yeah, that was a funny idea on paper, but not the best call in concept. I agree, Cage, I agree. <laughs> it's just really Really? Yeah, anyway. Lady Dimitri- Ah! <laughs> Did she throw them all up? Yeah, she destroyed them. What the? Did she just kill her own soldiers? Why is Demeter attacking her own soldiers? It's brilliant? Why? Why it's brilliant? Wait, what? <laughs> Crayon, it's not brilliant! Over half of the Olympus official guards have been wiped out after being caught in Demeter- Is it Demeter or Demeter? I don't know how to pronounce it. Wild attack? To be frank, everything popularized and publicized, so every, anything over the top is probably showing. Probably, yeah, that's probably true. That's true, Chris. Like, naming the house in Elden Ring Torrent? I don't know, what what does that mean? Torrent? Horse? Huh? It's a horse. Oh, Deme Demeter? Like, Demeter? I just don't know how to pronounce the Greek names, and so that's why I know I'm gonna... Well, that was funny. I don't get it. Safty seems to get it, but I don't get what you guys are talking about. What does that mean? Okay, no, never mind. He doesn't know what you mean. <laughs> I have no... I never played Elden Ring, so... <laughs> they named the horse Torrent, so when people searched Elden Ring Torrent, all they got was the horse... Oh, okay, like torrent, like you're torrenting, like I used to torrent anime back on like MIRC days in the early, early 2000s, because that's the only way you can get anime, is Marina Jones, Panda's hoodie. I didn't know they torrented Marana games. Oh, yep, hey, Marvan, thank you. I didn't realize they torrent, they, they, they wanted torrents for the game. Oh, okay, yeah, that's clever. But Safti said he's, he didn't put two and two together on why they named it Torrent. But now he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I did not know that. That's so crazy. Uh, it was a clever stealth anti-piracy thing. Yeah, that is kind of neat, though. Oh, I, I'm gonna throw it. You did it. Okay, I guess I'm on the ceiling now. Uh, hey, Koji! Here in Freedomland, Demeter would be die yard and also slightly shorter. D yard, D yard. Oh wait, 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 wait! I see, I see what you mean. Now you're making a dad joke or a dad-ish joke. Demeter, yeah, he's making fun of America. Yeah, America, yes, that's true, Koji. Oh my god. <laughs> now Safty's singing the America F E S song. <laughs> oh my god. Now he's not stopping. He's good. You guys started something. Stop it! Stop it, Zavdi. Stop it. Okay, he's he's not stopping it. 
<laughs> there was something different about that last scream. Uh oh. Could Demi Demeter? Demeter. Demeter? Be malfunctioning. I'm guessing it's Demeter. <laughs> w the heck is a kilometer gun sound effect? <laughs> what the heck is a kilometer? Yeah, right? Gun sound effect, right? Right? That makes more sense. Like the way they name things and, and, and the metric system makes more sense than anything on the what they call this the freedom units, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, I need to do the high five thing. That's right, he he's out of the bathroom. Uh Crayon wants me to do some weird get up, stand two feet away from you. Stare intensely until he gives you a high five. <laughs> so he's like, wait, what? I, yes, I guess we have to stare at each other. Freedom units, you are free to feel confused. Exactly, Hoshi, exactly. Okay. We stand two feet away. I guess. I don't know what two feet away is. <laughs> and we stare at each other until we high five? Okay. There. <laughs> he just high five and walked away. <laughs> I, yeah, we're not sure. He's confused. He's 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 deeply confused. Could Demeter be malfunctioning? Oh, curse you, curse you, cowardly Caldea demons! <laughs> Those gods from foreign lands warned us you'd probably use some kind of trick. I don't know what you did to Lady Demeter, but prepare to die. Prepare to die, Egg Bear. No, sorry. God, you stabbed me in the back. You cut. Shut up! Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, who's killing them? Whoever that was just took out the Olympian soldier like he was nothing. You guys just gonna come back to life as long as you the gods are around, right? Then I ain't gonna feel bad about killing you. Oh. Oh, there's ads. Okay. Um, I'm gonna step away. <laughs> I need to use a little panda's room, so I'm gonna step away while there's ads, uh, supposedly ads, and then I will be right back and continue. Uh, I have a feeling I know who that shadow is. That that, but yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back.
okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, spider panda. Yes, I am spider panda. <laughs> what? Why are you? <laughs> I don't cast fire. Wait, what? Door stuck. Wait, door stuck. Wait, wait, why? Why is the door stuck? Got it. Uh, get out of here with your kami numbers. Oh no, <laughs> kami numbers. Hi Zach, I'm Hoshi. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm. You guys are silly. Uh, then I ain't gonna feel bad about killing you. Healing flames. Oh, I see. It kind of reminds me of slime now, because he heals with like this purplish flame or something like that. Uh, oh wait, never mind. That shit doesn't work when you're up against me. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna be staying dead forever then. Sucks to be you, huh, chumps? Wow. <laughs> I knew it. I okay. I knew it was gonna be Canis. Hey, uh, you Chaldean shit. <laughs> Chaldean shitheads. It's <laughs> been a while. It's amazing that they add this kind of language in, in, into the dialogue, but I guess it's very fitting for each character. I like how she talks. Yeah, I, I think she's a favorite. Or he. It's actually he. He is a favorite among many people. I know they have a female body of this version, but there's a long story with Canis or something. Like, I love Canis. He's a real one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely real is a good is a good definition for that. Poseidon. Yeah, Poseidon's thing. Yeah. Um, someone had to correct me on that. So that's why I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 they're a male. So, yes. And, I, and, and it was a really tragic story, though. It's really, really, really sad. As somebody that endured, uh, you know, a rape myself, I, I kind of relate with them, except I didn't become... <laughs> I become more scared than anything, than, than, than uh, tough like, like Canis, so... I respect that, I really do. I just could never be like Canis, I guess. All the Greek gods are- Yes, they are! You're right, Sethi, they are. It's kind of sad. <laughs> Mash is like, ah, Canis! Oh, the video was going to recommend for next time you eat on stream, just remembered. Next, wait. For next time you eat on stream, wait. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's going to be normal. I only did it that one time because, well, Safdie was gone. And I was I was streaming and hungry suddenly and I had to eat dinner, so... Oh, hey, hey, Ryan. Yes, somebody already beat you to the punch and threw me up on the wall, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it was Merhan. You can blame him. It's about Gilgamesh? Oh, it's about Gilgamesh. Okay. Damn straight. Huh? Did you just save us? Well, yeah, isn't it an obvious idiot? Wow. <laughs> far as I'm concerned, you guys are these piece of shit Olympian soldiers are both my enemies. Huh? Canis? But you're Kishtaria's servant. Yeah? I'm confused too. And you said you were going to kill us. Goddamn right I did. <laughs> you being up here is probably better though, so you don't block the subtitles. Oh, that's true, that's true. I'm reading them, I'm reading them. <laughs> Question mark. Foo foo? Excellent sneak attack back there, Canis, was it? Wow, you're really you're you're a beauty and a spear wielder, huh? Uh oh. Judging from the divinely rugged spear play, I'm guessing you've got some connection to the Greek god of the sea. Uh oh. Call me a beauty again and I'll kill you. <laughs> oh come on, wouldn't it be lie if I just call if I didn't call beauty where I saw it? Does that mean it's okay for me to lie to you whenever we talk? Aw, oh, man, this is gonna make me feel bad. Musashi, right? Get the clue- get, get- yeah. Like, what? Marin tosses Panda up in the air. It's delayed. Sorry about that. The hell? Don't even think about lying to me, bitch. <laughs> you try it and I'll cut your- I'll cut out your eyes and turn your skull into a habitat for a damn octopus! Oh my god. Right? Then it's settled. We're gonna be the kind of friends who can- Tell each other anything. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kana. Se seeing you mow down those immortal Olympian soldiers like was like poetry in motion. The character sounds like me in real life. Canis is really interesting, definitely. Canis is so colorful. Yeah, that's the best way to put it, Goji. Very colorful individual. Huh? Hang on. Shouldn't those soldiers come back by now? Ha. Ha 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 Hell no, they're not coming back. 
I already told you I'm a divine spirit, damn it, and right now I've got to see God backing me up. Sure, I might be servant from proper human history, so that's the version of Poseidon backing me up. But he's still a god, and his domain is still the sea. Huh. Poseidon's the same kind of ship god as Demeter. Demeter, I guess. And he used to be just as much of a god of land as Gaia was back when humanity wasn't worth shit. <laughs> I love it. It's hard to read it, though. <laughs> I wish I did have more copies of the land. I finally did get one copy of the, of the Lancer version, but I still don't have the summer version, I guess. It's a rider, right? The rider version? I don't have that rider version. But I did randomly pull the Lancer version when I... I forgot who I was pulling for, but I ended up getting a copy of, of them. Uh, so of course I, I can use his authority over the land too. Which means I can easily neutralize the blessing that makes these punks immortal. Oh, I see, I see. Oops. Didn't mean to hit that. Interesting. Ahem. Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is Storm Border. Do you read me? Excellent. It worked. We've got video again. I trust you can hear me as well, um, Master. Director Gordoff. Oh, hey, if it isn't Goff. Foff! <laughs> I love Foo. Glad to see you're alright, Mesh. And did that little furball sneak out of the ship again? Hmm. I see you managed to meet up with Miy Miyamoto Musashi. Thank goodness. Reading you loud and clear, Director. Our connection's back online. Thank goodness. Fu gets some of the best one- Yeah, I know, and I love the fact that Fu's voice, when they actually have the voice- Someone- I think it was Sethi that shared it with me- uh, told me that it's it's voiced by, um... Uh, 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 yeah, I- Kua, Kua, I forgot her name. <laughs> it's Saber's voice actress. Um, Ayako Kuashima, I think it is. Yeah. Merlin Kick, right? Right? I, apparently, yeah, she, she voices Fu, and I'm like, that's perfect, because she also voices uh, um, Saber, and I really like her voice. It's really endearing. And I was, I'm like, I'm re watching Slime too, and I did not realize this, but. Uh, um, before, but she also voices um, Beretta, the demon, um, the demon doll thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Of uh, of, of of the 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 fairy demon lord. Uh, what's her name? I can't remember. The, I'm really bad with names. But anyway, she, Beretta is the uh, the same voice actress. Fu is so funny in Morgan's. Yes! Oh my God, Sethi, thank you again for recommending that to me. That was the ho that was the funniest uh, skit, I think. Oh, cool! I did not know that. Yeah. Um. Uh. Zhang Li's Japanese voice actor is uh, Valdora, and Saber's voice uh, Japanese voice act. Well, Saber is only Japanese, but yeah, Saber <laughs> is the same as um, not only Shenha but also um, Fu and Saber. So yeah. Uh, they have the same voice actors, so I thought that was really cool with Beretta as well. Um, thank goodness my ass. <laughs> I'm the one keeping you punks connected. Ah, uh, I see. Kainas managed to find you too. Good, good. This is all very good. Something's up we don't know about. We gave Hannes a communications relay that should boost our connection and let us communicate in real time. It's a special device our technical advisor put together to compensate for Olympus's environment. Da Vinci did that? Tell her that thanks. Very well. I'll t I also tell her you said to get some rest already. <laughs> Uh-oh. Another TTS. This stream is sponsored by B-Air Tech Free Fall Sharing Services. <laughs> and remember, you wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal a book. But if your friend asked to borrow it, no harm. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Oh my gosh, Crayon. <laughs> oh boy. Deadpool's uh, AI is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty spot on, isn't it? Siege of Arknights also shares the. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I haven't played Arknights before, but yeah, I'm glad that they're using her voice because she's a very talented voice actress. I'm really surprised they're going back and using the older ones, though, because I thought now they would be moving on to a new generation of voice actors. Um, but they seem to be going back and using the A-listers of the late 90s and early 2000s again which is cool i mean but same time it's like why are they using these guys but anyway very well. I, I like the fact that they use them but at the same time i'm surprised very well i'll also tell her that you said to get some rest already 
Well, then I've got a fairly good grasp of your situation. Really, it's hard to miss that giant machine god destroying the city, given she's, well, giant. And knowing all of you, I was all but certain... Ugh, all of a sudden, you'd be leaving the Tree of Emptiness aside in favor of doing something about her. Well, am I right? Am I right? Aren't I? I'm right, aren't I? Just to be clear, you can start with the praise whenever you like. <laughs> oh my god. At any rate, I don't know how much you're currently struggling, but now that we've got Canis on our side, use the extra help all as you see fit. Then I want you to defeat every last one of those damn machine gods and cut down the Tree of Emptiness. You got a death wish or something? Who said any of you could use me? Oh no. Eep! <laughs> well, 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 let's not forget, Canis. You owe me a debt, do you not? Uh oh. In fact, I distinctly remember you admitting defeat in the face of my overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly skillful negotiation technique and saying you would do whatever we asked. Wait, what? Kine's VA has recently voiced a magical. <laughs> I, I'm not surprised about that, Sethi. That. His voice is so deep, though, which is going to be hilarious about that. I wonder, what, 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 show, what show is that one? His voice is like that really, really deep kind of voice, which is shocking. Um, oh. You are a divine spirit, are you not? Surely you're not about to go back on your own word, are you? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not clear on the particulars of how this came to pass, but I trust we can now count Cain as among our ranks? Precisely administrative advisor. Now go ahead and use Canis however you need to bring that god down. Hey, the next time you talk about using me, I'm gonna skewer you alive and feed you the nearest whale. <laughs> Save those sorts of threats for shark fin in the cockpit. A Cecil, that poor that was a poor choice of words. So I'll be careful in the future. I'm sorry. Eesh, you punks really want to want to dip shit like that as your commander? Ouch! Wow, she is so... He is so real. <laughs> Alright, everyone, now that you know Canis is on our side, you should be up to speed. But why? Why are they suddenly on our side? Try to get along as best as you can. Boo. So, Canis is on our side now. Yeah, I want to know why. I don't know how this happened, but if, if it's true, that this is wonderful news, Master. I'll say. Having someone as strong as Canis on our team would be a huge help. Ha! Don't get it twisted, you Chaldean dumbasses. Oh my gosh. Bloody Crayon adjusts Panda's hoodie. Oh, thank you for putting back on my hoodie. <laughs> I owe Gordoff music there a debt. So I'm just putting my spear in your hands until I pay him back. Interesting. Once that's done, I'm still gonna kill the absolute shit out of all of you. <laughs> no matter what else happens. Wow. Really? Are you sure about that? Bloody Crayon adjusts Panda's glasses. Ah, you took my glasses off! Why? <laughs> the hell you trying to say, bitch? <laughs> you think I don't mean what I say? <laughs> oh no, of course not. I could tell you're serious. And that you're not really our ally at all. Oh. I just mean, given how bad things are around here, you might not want be around long enough to pay back your debt. So what? You're saying I'm gonna die like a dog or something? Costume change. Oh, I see, I see. I wouldn't go that far, but yeah, maybe. I mean, take a look. Impossible. Is that Lord Canis? No, it can't be. It must be an illusion cast by the Chaldeans. All hands, destroy the fake Canis. We can't let her make any more trouble for Lady Demeter. <laughs> yeah, alright, I got it. Let's talk. More spear, right? Alright, Chaldean dipshits. <laughs> it's your lucky day. I'll let you command me in this fight. Oh my god. When you're done, you'd better make sure none of these Olympian soldiers are left alive. Wow. <laughs> this, this, this is so... But the four servants can be party selected. Oh boy. Uh... Ah! We have, we have a raid! Oh my gosh, hi! <laughs> Hey there! Hello, Twilight Azure! This raid has been brought to you by Raflex underscore Puma and friends. Welcome to the Bamboo Forest. I'm gonna switch screens real quick, well, after the clip. What clip was it? What name is that? Ooh. 
the commentary. I'll switch screens real quick. Hi! Hi, Bear! How are you? Reflex Kuma likes to be called Bear, by the way. So, if you if you plan on um, following, um, following them, they like to go by Bear. Who is this Kuma it is? Oh, Kuma bought cookies with the raid, so... Enjoy all you can. Fluffiness, hugs, and coming big bear huggies. Oh, that's such a cute message. How are you doing? How was your stream? How was Destiny 2? It, that's a shooter game, isn't it? I need more characters to follow my crayon. <laughs> no, you don't. Demeter, oh god, I remember it now. Good luck, Panda. Uh-oh. Is it that bad, Susano? Invaders, no, they're not invading. Crayon. I was playing Destiny. Oh, that was Power that, Oh, that was Power World. Okay, okay. I did no mic stream, so yes. Oh, I see, I see. Um, well, I hope you had fun playing Destiny. I don't know. I, I never played that game, so I don't really know. I just know that I think it's like a shooter game. That's probably why I haven't played it, but... <laughs> I did, but, but... Oh, you did? You did... I'm sorry. Oh, I died in wave 41. Oh, no! So is that... It's just a wave game? Like a wave of enemies or something? I hope you had fun, though. I mean, it sounds like it would be fun. But thank you so much for sharing your community with us. And, and welcome, Raiders. I'm Pendagiri. It looks like Panda Girl, but it's Pendagiri, like Onigiri. <laughs> I had to stall 30 turns. Oh, 30 turns? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not looking forward to that fight. Ah, oh, boy. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, but yeah, uh, welcome to the Bamboo Force. Um... Uh, we use B-E-A-R technology. <laughs> Sounds kind of similar. Um, uh, it stands for Bamboo Ecological Access Router uh, to power the bamboo force with uh, internet access. So, yay. Oh, Baron Beer 2. Hello. Who is this? Kuma it is. Kuma bought cookies with the raid. I like cookies. Cookies are good. Except they don't always agree with my stomach. But cookies are still good. So everybody enjoy your cookies that, the, um, that, uh, that Bear brought along with us. Then I nuked her and shoved the experience in the back of my conscious. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not looking forward to it then. Um, but yeah, I hope you had fun playing Destiny. Um, thank you again for sharing your community. If you need to step away and take care of yourself, self-care is very important. Um, you know, if you need to, you know, hydrate, eat, sleep, something. Um, streaming can be, you know, it can be, it can, it can be kind of stressful. So yeah, be sure to take care of yourself. And, um, thank you again. I really appreciate it. Um... But if you decide to stay, we're, we're playing Fate Grand Order. Uh, it's a gotcha game from, well, technically in Japan from 2015, but in the global version since 2017, so it's like an older one. And it's a turn-based gotcha. It's not as fancy as, like, the newer stuff, but I've been playing it since, like, hey, 2018. Panda, guess what? Oh. I'm on McDonald's, stealing their free Wi-Fi <laughs> so I can watch your awesome stream. Oh my gosh, you're at McDonald's stealing their Wi-Fi. That's hilarious, Andre. I'm glad that- I hope you're having fun, though, and enjoying yourself over there. I will lurk as usual. Okay, thank you for the lurk! Thank you so much, Bear. And, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the game. Um, we're about to fight something. I don't know what I need to fight, but we're about to fight something. That's all I know. Um, you know, I need to turn on these things, because, I, I, yeah, anyway. Is it like a single target thing that I need to fight, or...? This is not fighting Demeter, right? Not yet. This this looks like it's gonna be. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, what is this gonna be? Mm. I can't change their. So if it's a stalling thing, I need to bring stallers, right? More, more, more on the stalling. I don't know what to do. I'm really like. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a nice meal. Oh, yummy! I'm sure your McDonald's is better than what they have here in the U.S. It's always crap here, so I, I'm sure it's. I can't judge it by what we, what they give us here. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Best part of BER Tech is it's free. Yes, it's free. Safety is like Tesla. Just with the Edison's character assassination, but I wouldn't put it past Comcast or Verizon. Oh gosh. 
Oh no. Maybe I'll put her in, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing. Wait, can I... Um... I'll use this one. Okay, that's exactly 112. I'll try this. Wait, what is she? Wait, what? Or he, sorry. Um, what, what is their... Demeter is one of the worst things to ever be created and I will never fight her again. Kill it with fire. Oh, is it that bad? It's Demeter right now? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. <laughs> if, if it's hard for you, I'm sure it's gonna be ridiculous. I'm not looking forward to that fight. Why do they have to make this game so hard? This is supposed to be a gacha game. Even, like, uh, uh, not encoding, like, Spiral Abyss. Okay, these are just the soldiers. Um, okay. mm. I don't know what they have, so I need to turn it back on. Uh, apply a state where you increase your attack for normal attack before inflicting damage through normal attacks. What? Um, face attack, okay. I don't- I don't have these characters, really, so that's why I'm like, hmm. What is- what do they use? Oh, it is also a buster, okay. No, machine gods are casters. Oh, they're casters? Oh boy. Hey, Slypie, welcome back! Oh, that's cute, it's a little panda. Oh, that's adorable. Um, so... I- I don't know. She's single target. He... Uh, increase cardio strength, deal happy damage. All enemies! Okay. So, they're all enemies. Maybe I'll just... But they're same, uh... I'm gonna try something. Wait, I don't even have normal attack, dang it. Whoa, that was pretty strong. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, Phoenix. Their voice actors is pretty cool. Okay, they died. Mm. Ah! Welcome back, in person! Distract the panda and poop. Oh, okay, thank you! <laughs> Have a good night, sweet dreams to you. <laughs> yeah, honk to you too. <laughs> oh, now kindness is gonna be king. Uh, let's see here. Maybe... Not going to bed. Oh, just re lurking. Okay, thank you, thank you, person. Have a good lurk. It is Friday, isn't it? That makes sense. Okay, maybe that was a bit overkill. I'm really impressed with their voice acting ability. Really well. This was not a hard fight. Is it leading up to something that's easier? No, <laughs> ショウ That was interesting. I guess it's gonna get harder. 
Oh no! You said they're, they're casters, right? So is this it? Is this who I'm gonna fight? Oh no. I'm scared. Half a day earlier inside the storm border. Please, Director, stop! We don't have to do this. Really, why in the world didn't you restrain the servant when you had the chance? Hey, Aqua! Welcome back! How are you? Thank you for checking in! Yay! I love the, I love the emote. It's, it's Saber peeking over. That's so cute. You couldn't have known what, what we had back then when that Nemo... Nemo... When Nemo? Is it Nemo, right? Nemo Marine picked up a mysterious magical energy signal. But why the recovery pod treatment once you did? And without restraints, no less. And if it wasn't bad enough, you went and gave her a regular bed once she's, she healed up? They're calling her she here, though. This is nuts. I don't know what you were thinking, but I'm sure as hell not going in that room. Believe me, I understand the risks involved here. However, the fact is, this could be our only chance to obtain something we desperately need. Remember, we still have yet to hear back from Master. She could have failed the, to rendezvous with the heroic spirits who got, uh, got here before us. Oh, thank you for checking in, Susano. Thank you. Um, uh, wait. Be looking for a way out of precarious situation even as we speak. And if so, we, well, we can, wait. Why do they have one word on it? And if so, what can we do? As things stand now, we have nothing and no one we can send to help her. Are they talking about her as me? Is my is world record? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I know it's hard to remember those. Uh, I I always remember. I always forget those in P other people and other streamers' um, channels to redeem the channel point check-in thingies. So I understand. It's one of those things. And plus, I just added it in January. So it's funny because like there's another uh, viewer here that's been here near since the beginning, and they've only checked in. It said two times. And they've been here for like two years, <laughs> so it's kind of hilarious in a way, you know. But I only I I only started it later because I didn't know it existed until recently. Um, so it's imperative, absolutely imperative, that we find some means to fight back immediately. Well, yeah, sure, I get all that, but or but does that doesn't make her a good option? I mean, she's just gonna kill us when she wakes up. Oh, stuff it. My inner tool is telling... My inner tool, what? It's telling me to go for it, so I'm going for it. I have come this far in, without second-guessing myself, and I'm not about to start now. I'll present her with this luscious, freshly baked croissant. <laughs> A croissant, really? And do whatever it takes to win her over to our side. <laughs> croissant? <laughs> so, that's how you win over... Someone like Canis has given him a croissant. Don't try to stop me, Pompadour. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Road to 100. Yes, definitely. Ahem. I, I take it you're awake now. My name is Gordoff Music, and I'm also known as Music the, the Phoenix and Music the Brave. Good job. It wasn't Greek food. <laughs> I'm, I'm the current director of Caldea, though I'm sure you could tell as much from looking at me. I apologize for this for the intrusion, but we've been monitoring your vitals, so I know you're conscious enough to converse. Uh, do not underestimate the power of freshly pa fresh pastry. You have a point there, Aqua. A fresh, a fresh, freshly cooked croissant is really good, isn't it? This is why the PV for this LB had him dramatically walking with. Oh, is that why? Okay, I remember seeing that like once before, and I was like, what? It didn't make any sense. I approve the bread-based diplomacy. Definitely. I agree with you guys. Fresh baked bread in general is just amazing. I uh, I have a nice fluffy croissant for you here, which I offer with no ulterior motive whatsoever. <laughs> Shut up. Go to Rory, or whatever the hell it is. I heard the whole thing. Er, yes. Well, that does have a nice strong ring to it. I'm afraid I must correct you. It's Gordoff, not go to Rory. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, wait, what? We have another raid! Oh my gosh, hello! <laughs> wow! Wow, hello! Nicholas? This is your father talking. Please do This raid has been brought to you by Apoptosis2066 and friends. Welcome to the Bamboo Forest. That's the screens real quick. Thank you so much for the raid! Hello! Oh, hey, it's bapping! <laughs> 
Um, a, a, a pot, a pot, a, you know, I already have trouble with this word because there's something like it and um, it's a hypostasis, but it's ap, apop, apoptosis, no. I'm sorry, I'm really butchering your name, aren't I? A, apoptosis, ap, apop, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to butcher your name. I, I apologize. But thank you so much for sharing your community with us here. The Midnight Crew is raiding you. The midnight Oh, so you must be in Europe, I'm guessing, if it's midnight there or somewhere around there. But thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for choosing the Bamboo Forest. Thank you, thank you. Uh, invalid Frappy. <laughs> and Mer Merith? Merith? Um, Applesauce? I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. I'm really, really sorry. Baffing, hello, <laughs> welcome back. Midnight Cruise Raiding You, Midnight Cruise Raiding You. Yeah, welcome Raiders, yes, welcome. You were playing, oh, you are playing Genshin. Um, are you looking forward to, uh, are you getting Alakino? Uh, and H, H Daughters? And Jessica, Jessica IX, Jessica IX, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna put your names. But hello, 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 friends and Benikini chat. Yes, hello, hello, Babbing, we're not a cult. I feel free to call APOP. Oh, APOP, okay, APOP, APOP. Thank you, APOP, thank you so much, I'm sorry. There's this thing in, in Genshin that I keep messing up, the, the, the flower. I just call it a flower nowadays because I can't say the word that it's. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad with it. Is it apoptosis then? Or is this... I mean, if I'm still butchering it. <laughs> I am from... So oh, you're from South Africa. Okay, so I'm way off. I apologize. Um, uh, but yeah, no, thank you so much for sharing your, your community with us here. Uh, for those that don't know who I am, I'm Pandagiri. It looks like Panda Girl, but it's Pandagiri, like Onigiri. And um, this is the Bamboo Force. And we use... B-E-A-R technology stands for Bamboo Ecological Access Router <laughs> to get free internet access in the bamboo forest. <laughs> Applesauce is my favorite name, so I'm sorry. <laughs> when I saw Genshin, uh, I don't know if uh, if you play it in English or not, but you know how I, um, um, Catherine always sounds like it's she's saying, you know, uh, add extra applesauce. I don't know why when I saw that you were playing Genshin right away, applesauce comes in my head right away. I'm sorry, it just, that's, because I saw Genshin, I was like, oh, applesauce. There you go. And hello, Dr Drax WB. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but 2336, 2330, oh, is that the time? Uh, is that what luck is sharing is the time? I see, I see, almost midnight, yeah. Same time zone, yeah, there you go. Luck is uh kind of north from you, but luck is our token uh, Italian duck. Correct, we are not a cult, we are a collection of friends. Thank you, Fapping. Yes, that was perfect. Oh, good. But everyone calls me A-pop. Okay, A-pop. I like that. A-pop. It's like, now it's like, can I call you Pop-Tart instead? No, kidding. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking of applesauce and Pop-Tarts. And maybe I'm just hungry. Anyway, you gotta know one thing before joining us, Raiders. Once you get into the bamboo forest, you're trying no luck. <laughs> don't scare people away. After ever and you're now part of the There is no cult. Luck, stop. There's no cult. Oh, I have Onigiri sub... <gasps> you have Onigiri sub badges! Oh my gosh! Onigiris are great, aren't they? They can come in so many different yummy flavors. Um, I like the umeboshi ones. You know, the, the, the pickled plum ones. Those are so good! Anyway, uh, welcome though. Um, I usually do stream Genshin as well, so I know a lot about it, but it, it, that's on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Friday is my Fate Fridays. I'm playing Fate Grand Order. I don't know if anybody else knows what that is, but it's another gacha game um, that I've been playing uh, on and off since like 20, 2018. No, 2017. No, 2018, yeah. Not a cult, it's a friend. You too, Crayon, you too, A2. And a tattoo. Oh, you have a tattoo of an onigiri? That's even awesome. I mean, my, my gosh, that's amazing. Uh, strawberry mage. No, you're not, you too. First rule of the cult, deny existence of the cult. There is no cult! There is no cult. Correct friends all around. No, there's no cult! But one, you are never allowed to... <laughs> no! <laughs> you guys are gonna scare everybody away. But it was always nice meeting new friends, new pe... Okay, now I'm using the friends thing. New people. And, and no, there is, there is no cult here. And you can escape. You really can. And speaking of which... 
I know streaming can be tiring and exhausting, and plus it's almost midnight there, so if you need to step away and get ready for bed and do your um, after stream closing duties, you know, by all means, it's totally understandable. Please take care of yourself. That applies to your raiders as well. Um, just make sure you do take care of yourselves. But yeah, happy Friday, almost Saturday for you guys. Um, but yay, weekends and stuff. Uh, yes, you can leave whenever you... <laughs> No, it does not really sound ominous, Crayon. You're making it sound very ominous. In my observations, it's always wholesome group. Uh, it's always wholesome groups that call themselves a cult, and the cults call themselves a wholesome group of friends. <laughs> so it's like re <laughs> so it's reverse psychology, right, Cage? <laughs> Lock, no, that's not it. Aha, uh -huh, yes, thank you. Quickly gonna check on Mrs. A. Oh, and grab some dinner because I have. Oh no. Yeah, please go eat some dinner. Dinner is really, really important. Um, please take care of yourself. But thank you. Thank you again. It was nice meeting you. I need to follow you so that I can catch one of your future streams as well. Uh, especially since you do also stream Genshin. Um, I hope you good luck on any characters that you're going to pull on, like Alakino or anything like that. Um, I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. I'm holding off for Siege Ween and Nilu reruns, so I'm not pulling. But yeah, good luck to you if you're going to be pulling soon. Um, and have a great rest of your night, and thank you again. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to, uh, the game. I'm doing a story part right now, so this is, seems like it's like a, uh, flashback. Um, featuring when they saved Canis from, I guess, some sort of doom? I think? They were thrown into the ocean? I don't know what the deal is, but anyway. But thank you for the warm welcome, and thank you everyone who joined me in the raid. Oh, well, that's so nice of you to thank your raiders. Yeah, that is so really, really sweet. Um, but yeah, thank you raiders for coming along. A-pop, or Pop-Tart, or, or Applesauce's raid, yes. <laughs> Finger guns. Yes, like vaping. Vaping is a, uh, an interesting staple here, too. Oh, always calling us a cult. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, snap. The Genshin 4.6. Yeah, it was this morning. I started watching part of it. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. Um, all the additions and what they revealed. It's like they didn't hold back. I wonder what the story is with that. I should go watch and claim the... Yeah, go claim the codes because they expire by the end of the day, Aqua. Go, 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 go. Go get it. Um, otherwise, uh, I think uh, Crayon posted it in our Discord as well. If you want, there's a quick... Um, quick copy paste for the codes uh canis was left for dead by the discord oh that's what happened sethi okay i didn't realize that um i know that they were gonna take care of canis but i didn't know they were gonna end canis that's sad well 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 i never call this a cult we are <laughs> okay okay we are a collection of friends for sure <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, yes. Well, that does have a nice strong ring to it. I mean, oh, sorry. He's correcting him. You gave the order to pick me up. Yes. And he nodded. And you put me in that recovery what's it without restraining me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you also let me sleep in a real room instead of a jail cell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I don't get it. I'm Canis. Remember how I swore I'd kill every last one of you dumbasses? <laughs> Canis's dialogue is, is very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Cage, yes, exactly. It's like what? <laughs> that that emote is perfect. That that that's a perfectly used emote right there. <laughs> oh man. You must have known that when you chose to help me, so that means you got a death wish? <laughs> no 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 nod. Oh he's like nodding like okay. Quit nodding and say something, damn it. What are you? Some kind of drunk freshwater musel? Muscle? Muscle, muscle. Muscle, right? Answer me. If you don't, I'll take your silence as confirmation you got a death wish. Uh, of course I don't want to die. I'm standing here right now because I believe we can cut a deal. I saved your life. That that means you owe me a debt. Uh-oh. Huh? Are you serious? You're damn right I'm serious. You were on the brink of death. Hell, you practically were dead. Uh-oh. So no, I, you wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for my bravery and my cunning calculations. That said, my original plan was to only heal you a little bit and negotiate with you while you were so weak. I never expected you to recover so much so fast. Damn it, Gardoff, all, all the mistakes you could have made. Oh, 
But because they know that's a thing, cults go back to calling themselves cults and wholesome friends call themselves wholesome friends. Double bluff. <laughs> You know what? That's the reason why I don't even want to bother using the wholesome tag. Somebody asked me to ask uh, to do that, but then I had I heard conflicting information from somebody else that says only uh, people that only the only people that use wholesome as a tag or say so as a tag are the people that aren't wholesome or or say so. So I was like, I'm really confused. So what tags do I use? And they're just like, I don't know. So I just don't use it now because I don't want to have people get confused. <laughs> I'm I don't know what to do anymore. It just seems everybody's doing things ironically nowadays And so if there's no truth to anything, and I don't know what to do anymore <laughs> Can we use cult? No, you cannot use cult as a tag Kraya. No fair point <laughs> Oh no <laughs> You want to take advantage of me while I was still weak. That's extortion not negotiation. Ooh, Canis is right not a cult. Okay, yeah, we're not a cult. Definitely not a cult. <clears throat> That's not helping either. We're not a friendship cult either. <laughs> and then the reverse card. No! Quack. Oh my gosh. Huh? Really? Is that how it comes across? Damn straight. It's no different from telling a... Uh, oh, prisoner of war, pal, right? Prisoner of war that they'll have to be your slave if they want to stay alive. Cult shit. No, we're not a cult ship either. I regret coming. It's full of kids and they are loud. Oh no, Andre, I'm sorry. Yes, kids can be very loud sometimes, a lot of times. Especially in a playpen like area at McDonald's. I'm sorry, Andre. I hope you, um, I hope you're able to get away and, and get some peace of mind. I'm back from break. Oh, did you get, uh, more, um, Vegemite and, uh, what was he? Vegemite and whatever Milo is. What's Milo? Anyway, I think I remembered, right? I'm back from breakfast and walking. Daisy, yay! Your Daisy is so cute, by the way. Necro has the cutest little puppy named Daisy. And we are already into cults. <laughs> No, we are not in the cult talk. We're not a cult. We are going to have so many niche tags. No, we're not going to have any niche tags. Wait, what? Yeah, Safdie's kind of here. Kind of half paying attention and working. He did fi high five me earlier, so Crayon, you got your high five. <laughs> um, Vegemite and crumpets and a glass of Milo. What is Milo? I, I don't know if I remember you telling me what that is. Milo or Milo? I don't know. Cult affectionate. <laughs> no! No cult. No cult. No cult. Vegemite and crump. What are crumpets? Are they like scones? Safty's explaining to me. They're not as sweet as scones? Oh. Okay. I don't know what crumpets are. I've never had crumpets. Um, Safety says they're not as sweet as scones. I've never had a crumpet before. Small pancake. But not sweet. How is a pancake not sweet? I think it came from this thing. And then I, and, I, and it fell off and I didn't put it. So I just had it on. Milo is Milo is it Milo or Milo? Is a brand of nutritional chocolate. Oh, okay. So is it one of those things that have like prebiotics and stuff like that? Oh, Milo. Okay, Milo. Are we called an embarrassment? Name of a group. That's true, Sethi. Yes, we are an embarrassment. <laughs> you know what? I need to do that. I need to make a raid message up that has. If you guys, if everybody. Hey, oh, hey, Pope Fancy. Fancy. Gets the Welcome back. Head pat. I need to think of a raid message that has something to do with embarrassment because we are a group of pandas raiding or in invading. Yes, we are an embarrassment. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, no prebiotics. We aren't that fancy. It's just added vitamins. And oh, okay, okay. I, I've been just... I recently found this... Um, it's it's kind of like pop, but it's not pop or, you know, soda or what do you want to call it. And it has, like, prebiotics in it. And that's all I know, so... But the panda parade is cute. It is cute. 
But at the same time, uh, it would be funny if it, you know, uh, we roll in something to do with embarrassments. I like Panda Parade because it is like a raid, but parade instead of a raid, you know, I don't know. <laughs> the panda friends are here to party. The panda friends are here to party. <laughs> No, rapping, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh boy, with the friends in quotes. Pipes, I never thought of it that way before, but she's right. Nice, that's way easy to believe than saving me out of the goodness of your heart. I'd have straight up murdered you if you tried to pull that good Samaritan bullshit. Oh, wow. Your plan's screwed, though, since I'm pretty much all better now. I don't know what kind of magecraft or mystic code you used to heal me, but right now I've got authority over both the land and the sea. Ooh, wow. Once I've snacked on a little magical energy, my spirit origin will pretty much heal itself. See? I'm all healed up good as new, so I don't need your help anymore. So you wanted to negotiate. How about how are you gonna go about that now? Because from where I stand, you ain't got shit for leverage. <laughs> oh no. Well, there's the fact that I saved your life. Heard that one already. What else you got? Nothing? If that's nothing, I'm killing you right now. Wow! Wow. Dot, dot, dot. Well, I thought you didn't want to die. You'd better speak up quickly, or quick, or my spear might slip. Or maybe I'll just kill you with my bare hands. <laughs> oh my god, Canis. Why is she so popular? Embarrassing raid in... <laughs> Necro, oh my god. I get it! Embar- Oh my- I don't like the assing part though. <laughs> I see what you're doing, but I don't- I, I, That might give people the wrong impression. <laughs> or it might be taken wrongly. I don't know. Right? Right? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I can't just is laughing. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> That, that giggle, oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> Maybe Sabdi can come up with something that's a little less, uh... Because I wanted to roll in embarrassment, you know, because a group of pandas is an embarrassment. And aren't you supposed to be working right now? Oh, okay. <laughs> Necro! <laughs> oh my gosh, at least Crayon's laughing, though. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um... <laughs> Which part should I crush? Your heart? Your skull? Maybe I'll start with your throat and then get creative. Wow. Canis is something else. Come on, you fat prick! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe... I can't believe I'm actually saying these things. But anyway, say something. Don't you got anything else to throw at me? Well, we've been also defeated P -P Poseidon. Huh? Huh? The storm border. Our state-of-the-art ship defeated Poseidon, the mechanical god of the sea protecting Atlantis. Well, what do you think of that? You're the Canis from Greek mythology, right? So hearing of Poseidon's destruction must make you feel pr pretty good, right? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. I can't believe this. Damn it, I can't believe, of all people, you Chaldeans beat me to it. <laughs> That shitty punk ass bastard might not be the Poseidon I know from proper human history, but still. Well, I can't believe I'm say saying half the things I'm saying, guys. This is nuts. Anyway. <laughs> I was so. <laughs> oh my gosh, fire! Wow, we have another raid! Hi, fire! Hi, raiders! <laughs> This raid has been brought to you by Maid of Fire and Friends. Welcome to the Bamboo Forest. Hi! Hello! Ooh, fire raid! Yes, ooh, fire raid. Oh, you're playing... This is a clip from the Digimon game, right? I've never played those, but they look good. I'm gonna switch screens real quick. Hi, fire! How... Hi, raiders! How are you guys? Wow, thank you so much for sharing your community with us. Um, you were- oh, you were playing more Digimon. Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth, Hacker's Memory? Wow, how many games are there? How many Digimon games are there? How was your stream? I finally beat it. Oh, you finally beat it! Oh, wow. So what, that was all the same game? The Master's Cup Colosseum was my last trial, and it made me suffer. Oh, no! Do you have to, like, put 
Digimon versus Digimon, kind of like Pokemon? Do you fight Digimon with other Digimon or something like that? How many Digimon games? Uh, 13. Wow, 16? I... I'm really... Wow. <laughs> I did not know this. Is this the final one? Yeah, that specific game is like Pokemon. Three on three. Oh, okay, okay. Um, have you played all of them? Or is that the final one? Or is there more that you need to play after that? But thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. Um, um, and congrats on beating the game. I guess, it doesn't mean you wrapped up all the side quests and stuff like that. Because I know you are kind of a completionist. Or somewhat of a completionist anyway. At least you were when you were playing 16. You wanted to do like every little thing and read every little thing. So yeah, that specific game is like... Okay, sorry, I reread that. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid, and I hope you had a good stream. If you need to step away and take care of yourself, please, by all means, um, make sure that you're well-fed and well-hydrated and, and well-rested if you need to sleep or anything. I don't know. I know you're the same time zone as us, so um, it's, still, it's still 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But if you have any plans or anything you need to get to, um, please, by all means, you know, if you need to go, please go. And I understand... But yes, it applies to you raiders if you need to take care of yourself as well. Uh, for those that don't know who I am, I'm Panda Giddy. It looks like Panda Girl, but it's Panda Giddy, like Onigiri. And um, this is the Bamboo Force. And we use uh, BEAR technology to um, have free internet access to the Bamboo Force. <laughs> That's how we connect to the internet access, or internet from the Bamboo Force. But yes, it was a good stream. I suffered, but it got it done. Yay! Well, eat it all, Oh, and have a good look. I'm going to go get some snacks and unwind after that game. Yeah, no, no worries. Have a good snack time and, and get lots of snacks. Feed the fire, right? Right? The song says that Digimon are the champions. But what are they the champions of? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. But yes, have a good look, fire. Thank you again for the raid. And yeah, welcome raiders. Hello. I'm currently working on Fate Grand Order. I'm doing a flashback story of some sort involving Canis, but... I'll switch screens real quick, we're gonna go back to the game. Um, oh boy, the Genshin Live was wild today, are you excited? I didn't finish watching it, Gubchan, but I heard, uh, I mean, of what I did see of it, it looks really cool, especially the fight against um, Arlequino. Um, I guess it's gonna live up to the whole um, fighting the Fatui before they join you type of thing or something. I don't know if... If who we get is who we fight or whatever it is, I don't know what the, I don't know what what the whole deal is with that fight. But anyway, it's it looks pretty cool. I only watched like half of the, the live stream, but yes, it does look cool. I'm not pulling for Alakino, so I'm still gonna hold off and wait for Siegeween. Hopefully, Siegeween will come along. It looks like there's another character involving with um, Sino that we'll might we'll get in the future. Maybe another four star. I don't know if it's going to be a 4-star or 5-star, but they looked kind of fancy. Um, let's see here. Uh, of the digital world. Oh, I guess that makes sense, Aqua. Um, oh, before I run, Digimon are the champions of the human and digital world. Oh, the cheesy Digimon Frontier song gave follow-up to the context of the original dub song. Oh, okay, okay. So there's a Digimon Frontier song. I need. I think I need to look that up. I have not heard that one. Yeah, I need to remember. Remind me to do that later, Safty. Okay, I run away now. Yeah, free to run away. Be be free, fire. <laughs> Enjoy your snack or whatever you're doing. Okay, so this is a, a flashback. I was supposed to be the one to finish that asshole off. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Kedis, oh my god. Alrighty, I'm going to relax and eat food. Okay. Uh, yeah, no problem, Gat Bapping. Thank you again for stopping by and have a good um dinner, lunch. I don't know, meal. Have a good meal, that being. Take care. Thank you again for stopping by. And thank you for coming along with um, APOP applesauce. Yeah, the raid. <laughs> oh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess they pissed off Canis. Take care, Hendon Safety and friends. <laughs> Ass and friends. Thank you, Bapping. <laughs> anyway, that aside, you. Oh my, I can hear her. I can hear him say oh my a lot. Eep. You beat, you beat Poseidon, huh? Solid card to play. You might have some skill at this negotiation stuff after all. I, uh, thank you? Five minutes. What? Five minutes? I'll be nice and hold off on killing you for five minutes. Four minutes and 39 seconds. They're 58. 
<laughs> ah! Now, now, wait a just a minute. You, you mean everything I worked up the courage to tell you only brought me five minutes of leeway? You ought to be proud. You got five whole minutes from me. Make it, make them count. You could run away. You run for, run. F wait, wait. You could run for away. I think that's a typo. Not that uh, it'll do you any good. You could call for help, which would also wouldn't do you any good. So guard off music of Caldea. What are you gonna do? That that that. That 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 that. <laughs> so once five minutes have passed, you're gonna kill me. No, uh, not just me. Everyone on the ship. Yep. <laughs> oh, welcome back, A Pop. <laughs> Bapping would just left, and I'm like, thank you for coming along, Applesauce's raid. <laughs> but welcome back. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just still reading the, the, the flashback story here. Cadus is something else. Wow. I don't know if you play or you, you know anything about the Fate universe, but Cadus is really interesting. <laughs> that, 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 then I'll have to find a way to stop you. Well, whatever it takes. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do, mustache? <laughs> You sure you don't want just want to make a run for it? Look, you might be an idiot, but I can tell you're not completely stupid. Oh. Hey, Static! Welcome back, how are you? Thank you for checking in. Um, look, you might be an idiot, but I can tell you're not completely stupid. So do you know that when I say I'll give you five minutes, I mean you are the only one getting the head start, right? But 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 he isn't me. I am I as director. I have a responsibility too. Yep, I love Canis. <laughs> Canis is uh, yeah. I know you have um, uh, you have both Canises at like 120, don't you, Gubtan? Um, at least I think that was what I saw on your your helper list. I think besides Fate Stay Night, I know nothing. You know, I'm kind of in the same boat because I've only watched Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero, but I've also seen Kata no Kyokai and Sikihime, which are other universes within the Nazu first um that is you okay that is you i figured that i i think i thought i remembered right but yes i'm not this is the gacha game that is in the same universe but there's a lot of confusing stories with it <laughs> i am mostly plays because saber is my favorite character you know the og saber that um is in fate state night um are they part of the same yeah they are part of the same universe um I don't know what else to say about it. More people know more about it than I do. I've been super burnt out in Fate Go and really should get back into it someday. Also need to finish Kata no Kyokai. No, it's okay, Cage. I understand. Nazu first is so confusing. At least for me, it's like, what? Oh, I normally lurk. Did you did not see this? Oh, you're fine. I remember seeing you here every once in a while. Yeah, I, I, I thank you, though. I think there's ads going on. If there is, I'm sorry. Um, Hold on. Uh, if there is ads, I'm sorry about that. Um, but, uh, if not, then yay, you guys, you're lucky. Just thought I would say hi before I look because I am 90% AFK. No worries, no worries. Thank you again for, um, checking in and also saying hi for the first time. Thank you. Fate isn't exactly that simple. Yeah, exactly, Govchan. It's not. It's really complicated. Um, I'm gonna pin that because it's very true. <laughs> and that's why. Saber is amazing. Yes, Saber is amazing. Saber is my favorite character in this whole series. And why I still play this game. Even though she doesn't really appear as often. I wish she would, though. But no worries, Cage. I understand about being burnt out on this game. It's it's so... They, they've really stretched this on. Like, I, 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 mean, I mean, I started this in 2018. I'm still in Lost Belt 5. And honestly, I didn't tackle any of the Lost Belts until late last year is when I started it. Because I was like trying to find a game that I had that I could stream. So I ended up streaming this and then I was like, you know, maybe I should try doing some of the Lost Belt stuff. And here I am. <laughs> slowly getting there. Really slowly. Um, oh, and thank you for the check-in, Phil. How are you? Welcome back. Um... Basically, Faye has multiple timelines, which makes it even more comp- Yeah, that too. That too! Oh boy. Uh, but, but, but is it me? I, as director, have responsibly too. You think I give a seahorse's shit about that? <laughs> I can see why Canis is a favorite. I'm good, very tired. Oh, did you go to a gym today? Or was it gym day? Or are you just tired from a long work- like, a long work week? Um, 
<laughs> Besides, what's re what's responsibility compared to your own life? Just forget about all your allies on the ship and run for your life like a pathetic coward you are. Nobody's blame nobody blame you for that, especially since they'll be kind of busy being dead. <laughs> but 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 be it that may, I still have a responsibility to. Who cares? This is the some commander's pride thing. All right, last chance. Go on, get out of here before I change my mind. If you don't get why I'm letting you off the hook, then fine. I'm gonna feel kind of bad, but I'll start by killing you. You're wrong. Oh. Oh, have a good lurk. Work. Well, anyway, yes, it's a gym day. Oh, okay. Have a good lurk and have fun at the gym. Be safe. Um, straight. I love that her insults are very seed things based. Yeah, they are. They. They. She. Uh, they. Uh, he. Sorry. Oh my God. Uh, he brings out a lot of um, seed related. Uh. How to say metaphors and stuff like seahorse shit <laughs> i'm like wow okay and welcome back from the ads if you were stuck in them sorry about that but yeah thank you for sticking by in them <laughs> you're wrong this isn't about my responsibility as a commander at all <laughs> no you've got this all wrong this this goes way back way further than just my time as commander i know i know god damn it it was me it's my fault the world ended I'm I'm to blame for Caldea's destruction. Um, partly. You know, you think I don't know about that every day? Caldea's staff didn't do anything wrong. The incineration of humanity wasn't their fault, and I damn well know it. They didn't have a choice. They had to fix. They had to try to fix the apocalypse with just a few dozen people. I knew that. I even then I knew it, and still I insisted that it was all their fault. They were. They were amazing. And if I hadn't come in and taken over as director and screwed everything up, things might have gone differently. So there, there you have it. I don't want to do this. I'm terrified to even try. But but I still have to see this through. You, you see, I'm the most important thing to me, by a lot. That's why I don't want to be a traitor to humanity. That's why I don't want to end up just be, uh, just some useless coward. Chubby. <laughs> Why are they insulting? And it's why I can't run away now. Wait, wait, is he listening on the outside or something? Even if it means I end up dying here. That's why I won't back down. I won't. Do you hear me, Canis? I'm standing my ground because I think I we can cut a deal. I saved your life. My team and I defeated the sea god you hate. Even if he wasn't the one you know from proper human history. And what's more... Well... What's more... Two minutes, one minute, 55, 59 seconds, wow. <laughs> and what's more, I've got a freshly baked croissant right here. <laughs> I love it, look at the croissant. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's it's your fault. Wait, it's your fault? Hey Nick, hello, welcome back. Croissant, yeah, the croissant. <laughs> there's a sticker, there's a sticker with a croissant. Um, um... No, that, where is it? It's somewhere. Where's the croissant sticker? I'm blind. Oh, there he is. Ha ha, I found him. Put him on my head. Wait. Oh, you have to move. Oh, okay. That's how you put yeah. it. There. Ha ha ha. Yay. Now I'm wearing a croissant on my head. Entirely an accident, I might add. Why is it accident? Oh my god, is Gup here for the Kana scene? <laughs> yes, exactly. Gup Chan has the 120 uh, Kanases. I remember that. Entirely an, an accent, I might add. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. I yes, guess it was sorry. just. It just. <laughs> what is it? Crayon, you, you flipped it. How do you do that? Now it looks like I have a croissant telephone. Hello? 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. But yes, um, how are you, Nick? Good to see you again. <laughs> it's crispy on the outside, soft and flaky on the inside, and so delicious yeah, you'll... <laughs> Crayon. Hello? Anyone home? I'm okay, just chilling for a bit. Oh, ha well, welcome home. I um, Hopefully you have a weekend off. Oh, hey, Zero! Welcome, I'm mean, Holly. Hi, hi. Croissant telephone, so cute, isn't it? Isn't it adorable? Hi, Zero. Oh my gosh. Hi, hi, hi. Good to see you again. 
I mean, I didn't know where Panda was at the story, so it is an accident. That's true, that's true, because you can never know. Gupchan, Gupchan did just uh, sh show up um, just like five minutes ago or ten minutes ago or something like that. So it was completely by coincidence. <laughs> and Mother Russia croissant eats <laughs> you. No, the croissant phone. I like croissant phone, not, 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 the, not the croissant eating me. <laughs> yep, although I had, I, I almost had to, tra oh no, you almost had to travel again? Save myself from that though, oh, phew. I'm, hi Panda, happy Friday, yeah, happy Friday to you too, Zero. I, I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, I haven't been doing my shoutouts, I'm sorry. Uh, Nick is also a streamer. Does not die, right? I met through, uh, Fate Grand Order, um, but also streams well, a lot of HSR. Did damage invaded stunts is needed. Um, once yeah. in a great while, I've, they, they like to play, um, no, Genshin. no, you bastard! <laughs> but they mostly do a lot of like they also do Ark Knights and a lot of other gotchas, right? You're just a all around gotcha player. I don't know how you guys do that because I I just I can't focus on more than two. But yeah, Ark Knights, yes, Nick also plays how a lot of confidence. <laughs> what confidence? That fight sucked. Oh, you know the fight? No wow. Confidence. Yeah, um, Nick likes to play a variety of gotcha games and also Baldur's Gate threes. Uh, something they've been working on as well. Um, so yeah, if you like the, those similar like gotcha streaming and Baldur's Gate and all those other kind of a variety of games, I would say. Um, yeah, Nick is a great streamer, so please check him out. Um, I have many, but I tend to rotate two to three main games. That's how I manage it. Oh, I see, I see. So you take breaks and then just kind of um, uh, go back to them every once in a while when you get tired of stuff. No, no, thank you for being here, Nick. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I need to do a shout out to Zero, but there's like a cooldown on it. So it's like a one minute Twitch shout out cooldown. So give me one moment and I'll continue with some story and then I'll do more shout outs in a minute. I just, I'm really bad at remembering them. And Safdie's busy with work, I think. So that's why he's the only other mod I really have. So sorry. No, no, it's on cooldown right now. Safdie, don't, don't. Um, Zero. They were up there. See, they were they were um they were uh collabing with Necro the other night. Yeah, 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 that one. When when it's off cooldown, I don't know how long, much longer. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the thought. No, no, sorry, you just have to wait for the. Safty's usually does some of my shoutouts, but yeah, he's been busy with work. Oh, so that's how uh, that's what you've had there all this time. I thought it was some kind of poison, so it's food. That that's right. It's made with tons of butter and it has all the calories you can want. Wait, you want calories? I've also got milk and tea to go with it if you'd like. Croissants are delicious, but they can make you feel a bit hot. Oh look! Guys, oh, there stop. we go. <gasps> guys, oh, is this a scary game? I found a stop sign. Or no, no, no I, I found a yield that, sign. No, a found, yield I, sign? I found a yield sign. <laughs> I found a yield are sign. Are you being? <gasps> Zero, what the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> You're carrying a body. You're fucking carrying a body. Wait, I can kill my friends. <laughs> did You're you just beat someone? Did you just beat somebody over the head <laughs> the yield sign? <laughs> did you really just beat somebody? Like, did you beat somebody on the head with the yield sign? <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny. Zero the imposter. <gasps> no, oh god, that was at least it wasn't a <laughs> It's fine, it's fine. I, I tend to get a lot of <laughs> It's funny because, yeah. No, no worries. You are the champion. Hope you're... Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, um, you guys are both champions. How's that? Let's stay there. But yes, <laughs> that was a really funny clip. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, we always get necro sus clips, except today was just eating poisonous potatoes. So that wasn't the sauce, at least. I didn't know you could kill. <gasps> oh, you can kill somebody <laughs> like that. Oh, thank you for checking in. Thank you, thank you, one play. How are you doing? Two, 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 what? Two. Um. Raiding. Oh, you're raiding. I see, I see, I see. Well, thank you again in advance. Oh, thank you for checking in, Nick. I appreciate it. Um. Ha. <laughs> what is this about? Oh my God, she did. She just lose it. Ha 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 ha. Uh, are you serious? Are you trying to win a heroic spirit over with food? 
Are you actually trying to negotiate with me? Canis the tyrant. Now Canis the divine spirit. Oh! Yay, we are getting a raid! Hi, one play! Thank you so much for the raid! This raid has been brought to you by one play Whoa. games and friends. Oh my god, what? Welcome to the bamboo forest. What happened there? You got bounced to the ceiling? That was an interesting uh, glitch. What the hell just happened? You bounced to the ceiling and then you died? <laughs> no freaking way. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'll switch screens real quick. Thank you so much for the raid one play. How are you? How was your stream? And you're playing Genshin. Are you all ready for 4.6? Are you going to be pulling for Alakino as well? But thank you so much for the raid and welcome raiders. I'm Pandakini. Ah, wait, what's uh, this? Necro Kitsune has gifted somebody ah, with a sub. Oh my god, Necro, thank you so much for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. And congrats, Zero, for getting the gift sub. <laughs> oh, thank you. Wow. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the raid, One Play. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, yeah, One Play is a, a new streamer. Um, currently streaming a lot of Genshin. I don't know if you play other games right now but i know that you've been streaming a lot of genshin um but yeah welcome welcome again and thank you again for sharing your community with us i hope you had a good relaxing stream if you need to step away and take care of yourself self-care is very important so make sure you do if you need to hydrate eat sleep something i don't know what time zone you're in sorry so yeah um t thank you again um uh welcome to the bamboo forest and this is, we use uh, B-E-A-R to, I'm really bad with these. Um, we use, oh my god, how many times have I said this today? <laughs> uh, we use B-E-A-R tech, uh, Bamboo Ecological Access Router. Uh, that's what it stands for, to access free internet on the bamboo forest. And that's how we are able to stream from here. <laughs> that's the story that Safdie came up with, which he's better at telling stories than I am. But yeah, welcome, welcome. I'm currently playing Fate Rand Order. It's an older gacha game from technically 2015 in Japan, but 2017 in Global. Um, but yeah, I'm playing the Global version and I'm really behind. I'm working on uh, Last Belt 5 out of 6 and I think 7 is coming out soon or something like that. I don't know. I, I'm really, really behind. That's all I know. But thank you again for the gift sub to Necro. No Alakino. Oh, you're not pulling for Alakino? Oh, wow. I'm surprised. It was like, I think... 80% of the people that I've talked to are pulling for I'm not pulling for her either. I'm going to sneak away. We'll maintain alert for support. Oh, thank you, Cage. Thank you so much for the raid. And have a good rest of your day. Thank you again for being here. As always, I've been lovely time here. Thank you. And then I look forward to catching one of your future streams, hopefully. After stream, self-care. Super important. Very, very, very exactly, Zero. Thank you for, for reaffirming that. I got Nouvellet, though. Oh, congrats on Nouvellet. Nouvellet's great. I like Nouvellet. Free interwebs. Yes, if only, right? Apop. Um, yeah, I, I would love to have free internet. That, that should be, that should be something that the world provides for us because it's an, a necessity just like food, but you know, life isn't that easy, unfortunately. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm on the way. <laughs> You're already here. What do you mean? You're already here. B-E-A-R gives us the bamboo broadband internet. Yeah, bam, bam broad, bam, wait, bam. Bam Broadband Net. Oh my god, how can you say that? I couldn't say that fast enough. Bam Bam Broadband Internet. Oh my gosh, that works. Okay. 6.5 should be sometime in the next couple months. 6.5. Oh, 6.5, not 7 yet, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, there's gonna be more 6? Oh my goodness. Free zero emission network equipment made out of bamboo, which allows all bears to access the internet. But only bears? Not everybody's a bear, though. 6.5 is technically next. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Bam Broadband. I know, right? Necro comes up with the funniest words. I I, I don't know how... It's a really amazing how... how I, I, I would... I don't know how their brain works, but that the, the words that come out sometimes from Necro is just chef kiss kind of words. You know, like, wait, what? These puns are becoming un... <laughs> Unbearable. Give me a moment to, pa <laughs> to pause and get my bearings, otherwise I must walk away barely sane. <laughs> Aqua, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my god, I'm sorry it was lagging, but oh my god, you're amazing, thank you. Yes, exactly, no, no, it's it's fine, Zero, you're fine. Thank you, Kate. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much for Cage for being here. Oh, look at the froggy emo. Oh, that's so cute. 
<laughs> the Kuragi giggle is great. I love how Kuragi made um her emotes into the the style like the um learning with uh learning with F learning with fate or learning with FG or is it you know the got the the, the Gudako art. I love how they made it like that. I would love to get a Gudako st st style art like um emoji um of my character. That would be great. That would be perfect. I should be saving for Clorinde and hopefully Capitino, a uh, Capitano, but Scythe, right? Zero, I know the Scythe. Oh my gosh, um, I'm I'm not gonna pull for him, but I, the Scythe does look pretty cool. Yes, I am. Oh, you are also pulling. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, uh, seven is at the very end of the year. Oh, seven comes out at the end of this year. I see, I see. We praise the Capitano, Capitano. Oh my God, look at the little panda. That's so cute. Panda X Kuma. That's so cute. That new channel name. That's adorable. Well, you have to live in the bamboo forest because Comcast has lobbied everywhere else in the band. Be That's true, right? Gosh, it's funny because it's true. Um, like where the area that we live in, um, we always ask if so and so of another network Safi is available. Kuma adjusts panda's glasses. Oh, thank you for the glasses. Um. They we always ask if so like another like uh, another um, fiber company or fiber provider is available, and they're like, oh no, Comcast owns this area. It's always Comcast, and it's like, why are they even allowing monopolies from to happen like this? It's like that shouldn't be legal. That really should not be legal. It's so annoying. Anyway, <laughs> I'm ranting about that because it's just we're trying to find a new place to live, and. Everywhere we go, it's like, no, Comcast has a, 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 a stranglehold on this area. So, nope, that's not ever going to happen. We're just like... <sighs> and I hate Comcast because they throttle you so bad. Comcast sucks. Anyway. No, you are amazing, Zero. Yes, they, exactly. Deep Glees are both amazing. Stop it. <laughs> learning with manga. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. That's what it was. I want a learning with manga, like, art style with my, my character. Would that, be, that would be so amazing. So if anybody knows anybody that can imitate that art, that would be great. <laughs> Someday when I have money, anyway. <laughs> City consoles are pretty cheap to write. I know, but that shouldn't be legal. Safety, that shouldn't be legal, as it turns out. Yeah, they should be, they, they should give them bamboo boo. <laughs> oh no, they're rubbing off on you, A-pop. They're, 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 they're making you do uh, bear puns now. <laughs> hint, hint to fan art. This is, yeah, right. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the game. Thank you again for the raid one one play. I hope you have a good one. And, um, yeah, thank you again. Are we back to Anarchy Cult? No, we're not an anarchist. I'm not an anarchist, Crayon. Uh, with a freaking piece of bread. <laughs> Cadus is hilarious. This is the funniest goddamn thing I've seen in I don't know how long. How, no, how long. It's too bad Kishtara didn't talk to you more. <laughs> I've never seen anyone so insolent in my life. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Surely it can't be that funny, can it? Even Tool used to love these croissants. Was Tool? Dot, dot, dot. Give me that. Huh? I said, give it here already. Lunch. Dot, dot, dot. Huh. So that's a croissant. <laughs> Oh, Canis has never had a croissant. I see. Oh, hello, Sofo Sophonic Monk. The fire and death. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're not an anarchist here. We're not an anarchist. We're not a cult. So stop, Crayon. Don't don't mislead. This don't mislead people. We're not either. But hello, Sof Sophonic Monk. I hope I said that right. Uh, Tool was the homunculus who basically. Oh, okay, okay. So Tool is the homunculus that used that basically raised him. I see. I see. Um, okay, anti-lobbyist, true free market, not a cult, so picky. <laughs> I guess so. I don't even know what it, I, I, yeah, I don't, well, who, anybody that's pro-lobbyist is a lobbyist, so you don't want to be a lobbyist, because <laughs> that's bribery. Uh, so that's a croissant. Uh, <laughs> he's too scared. Thanks, that was good. <laughs> what? That was good. And not only I that, I haven't left that hard since I manifested. Hoodie. Oh, thank you for a person. <laughs> so I'd have to say you won this little exchange of ours. All right, music. I officially owe you one. 
You name one thing you want me to do and I'll do it. Really? You mean it? I'm a lot of things, but not a liar. I'd never kill anyone who gave me such a warm reception. <laughs> I'm not a damn centaur, after all. I might not act like it, but I'm still a king. Go ahead, name your quest. I'll do anything you want. That's reasonably within my power. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> For permission to speak freely. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Could I make a second request as well? One to return the favor I did with did you with the recovery pod? Oh, by the power of croissant, right, Zero? Croissants are amazing. Like, Safety loves croissants. I only allow him to have one per week, except this week he got two because there was a chocolate croissant. Um, the bakery still had a chocolate croissant available, so he got a chocolate one and a regular one. Yes, I have the power. He has the power. He's not allowed to eat as many. Like, he used to eat bread every day. Wow. Hot croissant. <laughs> So now, now he can get one croissant per week, and that's good enough for him. Because he's not supposed to have wheat. The doctor said so. I am lurk to slap Chow Shadows Hong Kong. Oh, have a good night, Nate person. Thank you again. Reveal the fake panda. Hey! No, that 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 was supposed to be a, a well kept secret, Nate person. <laughs> no kidding. Um, bread, my beloved. Yes, bread is so good, but when you can't handle digesting the wheat. Um, it's funny because it's like, anytime he starts eating a lot of bread, his body becomes really, like, inflamed. So, you know how people, I, I think the problem with a lot of Americans, because of the fact that, um, bread is so prevalent in our diets, and it's the, the, yeah, the germ of the wheat that we have here in America that's really bad. Um, I notice that, you know, it's not just obesity so much as the inflammation in our bodies, and it, it you can tell when people look swollen, like they they look like they are not just obese, but they are swollen. Like their 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 tissues are just inflamed, right? Um, at least I can when I'm because my doctor kind of pointed out some differences, and and especially on uh, on Safdie's body, and when he stops eating bread, that inflammation goes away, and he doesn't look as puffy and swollen, and. Um, it's really quite interesting. So a lot of people that know, if you notice even yourself, if you feel a lot of bloat and, and it's just your skin looks really puffy and swollen. <laughs> What's with the bird? Um, bread is backbone to uh, Brazil too. Yeah, but it's it's just the germ of the wheat, the wheat wheat germ that they use here. It's been so genetically modified that um, it's bad for our systems. Um, I know that when I eat bread, when I ate bread like in Italy, for instance, it did not make me sick, and it did not, like, it didn't hurt us, right? There was just a difference in quality, and the bread here and the and the flour and whatever, you know, the wheat here in um, the U.S. is just so bad. It's not good for our systems, and some of us have more tolerance than others. But Safty, over the years, has eaten so much bread that I think his his system is just overloaded. So yeah, that's why he can't eat as much. He can eat like one or two like uh, croissants a day, or, or, or a week, and that's good enough for him now. He used to eat bread like, I mean, I mean, we seriously went through loaves of bread. We would always buy so much bread, and he would toast it at um, breakfast, at lunch. He would eat bread sometimes at dinner. He would, you know, he would just have lots of bread here. Okay, and I'm I grew up not eating a lot of bread. I grew up eating a lot of rice because you know Asian families mostly depend on rice man i want croissants <laughs> croissants are good if, especially if they're baked fresh and they're still flaky not those um uh what do you call those uh the pillsbury doughboy stuff the ones that you have to pop open the little canister those things are nasty oh my gosh they do taste good that you think they taste good and then they make you sick at least they, they make me really 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 sick like to the point where i want to throw up um but yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I, I sometimes go on these like food, these health kicks, and I'm sorry. I know a lot of people don't believe in this, and they're like, "Well, you can tell me whatever you want, but I'm still going to eat my McDonald's and fast food and junk food and stuff." And I get it. I get it. Um, I haven't eaten junk food, like uh, fast food in over ten years, and I used to eat it all the time. Like, we used to eat it all the time. We used to eat it for lunch every day. Or, you know, because, you know, we worked. I worked. I used to work. And I used to go out and, and buy McDonald's, Charles Jr., Subway. I used to buy all that kind of stuff for lunch. And, um, yeah, 
my my health is paying for it now in my 40s and i i don't really i i i wish i did not eat as much as i did let's put it that way everything in moderation that's true strawberry um but sometimes when you're in when you have a really busy life moderation is the last thing you want to think about right so that's the problem. Fresh croissants are the best. Might go grab some tomorrow. There you go. Yes. Um, I don't know how to make them myself, but yeah. Um, it definitely, if you Waffle. live by a bakery, a fresh croissant would be perfect. Um, I have no idea what those are. Wait, you have no idea what are? I'm sorry. No idea what what? Sorry. I want a croissant. I have no idea what those are. Wait, you don't know what croissants are, or is this something else that I said? So I apologize. I'm like um. I'm reading the message a little late. Um, but you're right, Strawberry. Everything in moderation. But when you live a busy life, it's just the last thing you think about. is like, oh, should I be having this? Nah. Oh, Pillsbury thing you were meant... Oh, okay. Um, uh, what's the brand? What is it? Pillsbury is the brand? Um, let me see if I can find a picture of it. Pillsbury croissants. Okay, I will link it. Um, those are the Pillsbury croissants. <laughs> um, they look like because I used to eat them a lot too because they're really easy. They come in this like little tube you pop open. And you just unfold the, the dough, they're all pre-cut, and then you can put like little sausages in them and wrap them up and bake them. They look like, you know, normal croissants, but if you look at the ingredient list, they have a lot of filler stuff that are not natural. And once you, once you stop eating a lot of the unnatural ingredients, your body will reject it hard. Like you just, why by unnatural stuff, I'm talking about junk food in general. Anything that is junk food, pre-digested food is the other term for it, where they break it down to the molecules and then they reform it to look like something, something of the original food. <laughs> um, so they, what they do, they break it down to the molecules, they add a lot of filler so it's cheaper and they can make more product out of whatever, because they break down the, like for instance, for potato chips, like, like Pringles, they break it all the way down into um, a slurry is what you know it's like a mush and it's all in, and it's like all this liquidy stuff and then they go in and add uh, extra stuff in it mostly chemicals and whatnot that shouldn't be in our system but it is and then they reframe they they re reform it to look like something like a potato chip for instance so if you look at the ingredient list of pringles at least here in the u.s it's not just potato water and whatever you know it's a lot of other stuff some of it I can't even pronounce. That is not good for our system. <laughs> so once you kick it out of your your bodies, and you, you know there's no more of it, no, no no longer any traces of it. So your system is not overworking itself to try to break it down. Um, if you if you don't if you stop eating it for a long period of time and then you reintroduce it, you will get sick all over again. And if you look at the Pillsbury Dobo uh, the Pillsbury croissant uh, ingredient list, you're like, oh. Because I was like, why does this get me so sick? Because I got so sick when we... Uh, Safty wanted croissants one day. And he's like, I want warm croissants. So he went and bought the tube. And he's like, we used to make these all the time when I was a kid. I'm like, yeah, we did. I did too. And um, so we made it out of nostalgia. And we both got really sick after eating it. Um, I'm not saying it's going to apply to everybody. But again, if your system is completely cleaned of... I make a lot of my own food now. Um, I don't even really go out to eat anymore because I can't trust anything. <laughs> um, so, because I, I, I have a lot of um, gut issues right now. Um, so, like, I can't digest wheat, potato, or corn. So, <laughs> I'm very limited on what I can eat nowadays. Um, so, when you, when you have to look at all the ingredients and everything to make sure one of those things are not there, and then you notice... All the other chemicals that they put in there you're just like wow no wonder why i could i had so much trouble digesting this but yeah they used to taste better i think so too strawberry i think there was less of the chemical stuff and i think over time they want to save money by adding more of the extra 
stuff in it, not the real stuff in it. We don't have those. Oh, good idea. You know what? Um, I noticed that almost every other country outside of the U.S. doesn't use those kind of weird chemicals in it. So, Apop, you are much better off. Don't come to the U.S. <laughs> if you do, just be careful what you eat. <laughs> I noticed that a lot of things, like I, I run it by people. Um, one other person that uh, visits here once in a while um, is also from South Africa. And then there's a lot. There's several people here that come here from Europe and some from Asia and they're like what is that what are all the stuff and it's like I think it's just a United States thing it's a US thing we they pretty much poison us here um <laughs> so just yeah when you if you ever come visit to the US just just know that what they pass as food here is not what most countries pass as food let's put it that way I would hope not Apop but again it's different I know that from experience of listening to other people, especially um, those in Europe um, and even in Asia, the, yeah, a lot of the stuff, even if they have the same brand, if they have the same brand, they have more regulations on what they consider food or what should be considered food that they don't keep, they don't, for instance, like uh, soda pop, you know, they use real sugar. Here they still use corn syrup. You get what I mean? Um, I don't think that they allow corn syrup and soda like they do here in the U.S. Because so corn syrup is supposed to be really bad for us. And it doesn't break down the same way sugar does. Avoid the cheap junk basically at bare minimum. Exactly. There you go, strawberry. That's, that's the best way to put it. I live with a brother who grows his own spices. Never lunch with him twice in a row. Oh, wait. What's that? What's, what's wrong with growing your own spices, Zero? Isn't that better for you? <laughs> or, or is it is it that potent? Is that what you mean? Um, yeah. If you ever visit here, yeah, yeah uh, South Africa regulations on food are fairly strict here. See, and that's good. Even down in Mexico, when I went to visit Mexico, they grass feed their 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 beef, right? Um, all their all their beef products that they serve are all grass fed. They have very strict rules about that. I mean, this is just right over the border, right? In in Mexico. And here, in the U.S., they don't have those regulations. The cows can be all crammed in some, like, warehouse, basically. They're not free-roaming. They don't eat grass. They eat feed. And apparently that's the cause. I don't know if you've heard the, um, the whole avian flu going around. Um, it's because they apparently fed bird poop to the cows. And part of the... They, they grind up bird poo. And they feed it to the cows. And it's like, I don't know why they put profit over health. But it's like, what well, you feed the animals, and then the, us humans eat the animals. We're eating that same poison that they feed the cows, too. Through, because we are, in, you know, taking in their meat, right? Oh, Shishi, talk about, uh, the, uh, speak of the, speak of the, I, I didn't want to say devil, I'm sorry. Speak of the person. <laughs> you know that phrase, speak of the devil. Yeah, Shishi's also from South Africa. So we have another South African here. So yay. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. So <laughs> he likes his food spicy. Okay, so it's very, very spicy. I got it. I got it. Corn does terrible things to anything. I, I agree with you, Solfair. Um, I think corn on the cob is okay, but it's still hard for us to digest. And the reason for that, my doctor told me, is because corn was made for um basically you know how birds and you know the, the the birds in general have beaks right and they can peck at stuff grains we're not supposed to be eating grains of anything i know we're not even supposed to have milk but humans have adjusted over time um but corn is not supposed to be digestible by humans technically um, <laughs> because it's a grain and, and, and I don't know it's really weird to think about it but it's just like we've adapted to that and we've eat, we can eat whatever we want really but yes uh -huh. oh hey son <laughs> that's funny every time <laughs> what timing you have son no kidding we're talking about food and poison and stuff <laughs> again um, but yes uh, the, the avian flu that's going around in the US um, the, what, what, what is the start of it anyway it hasn't blown up into anything super serious yet, but we need to be careful. Um, they, 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 they like to decide the cows don't eat. Like cows are just animals, and they shouldn't eat real, like real nutritional stuff, like grass, right? 
Instead, they used they 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 gave them. They literally okay. You know the um, how to say it? The bedding, I guess. The bedding, maybe. Um, I know that they use like paper bedding and stuff like that. Uh, where the chickens are, so they grind up that they ground up that um. The bedding of what where they get the the chickens. And, and part of it, of course, includes the bird poop, right? Apparently that has, like, some mutated strain or something that they fed the cows, and now the cows have avian flu. And then through the cows, apparently there's been one, like, a handful of cases, anyway, um, of, of, of cow to human, uh, of avian flu. And it's just, like, comfy topics. It always is comfy, isn't it, son? You know us, right? <laughs> um... But yes, um, eventually this will trigger health reform again and it'll improve things slightly, but not nearly enough. I don't think so, Strawberry. I, I honestly think that um, the U.S. is just effed. <laughs> I think we're just really... Uh, um, if we could adopt the same regulations as like other parts of the con uh, other parts of the world, then yes. But as it stands right now, um, too many corporations in the U.S. are more for profit than for health. Gotta love strong corporate lobby. Yeah, I know, right, son? Yeah. And it's funny because son's like in Europe and knows more about all this stuff um, than probably I do. I mean, I've, I've learned a lot over time, but I'm amazed at how many people that are not involved in this know more about what goes on here in this country than, than, than most Americans, actually. So, yeah. I know a farmer coalition is rising up to improve things and is strong enough to challenge the monopoly, so... There's good stuff on them. Oh, well, that's good to hear, Strawberry. I mean, I want to hold out hope, but like I said, I'm in my 40s, and I've only seen the bad turn into worse. Like, just recently they found out Lunchables have 73% lead in them. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I'm like, I ate a few. I remember, not a whole lot, but I know a lot of Americans that ate that every day for lunch. And my mom would never really let us, but once in a while we would get a hold of it. Yeah, 73%. I know, 73% lead. You can look it up on Google and you would see this huge, it blew up a few days ago. But 73% lead in all the, lunch, like most of the Lunchables, the pizza one, the turkey one. It's like, it's not even real cheese and turkey or whatever it is they give it. But it's disgusting. And a lot of people have been very convinced that all regulation is kind and any kind is bad. I know, and that's sad, isn't it, Nick? And it's just like regulations are there. I mean, it can be abused. I know it can be abused, but I think regulations, if if handled correctly, like in most other countries, such I'm taking I'm just using Europe as an example because I've actually gone to there. You know, I've gone and ate the food there, and it's so much different. It, the quality is different. I've gone to even Mexico. The quality of the food is so much different. Um, it actually tastes like real food. <laughs> I don't know. Unfortunately, there are some entrenched people who are very opposed to health reform because reforming health regulations is in inherently anti-corporation. It, yeah, exactly, Nick. But also, you know, like, um, the whole avian flu thingy in, inside cows? Something about, okay, people, I, I've heard people visit Japan for the first time and they can get, um, wait, which one is it? Is it pasteurized or not pasteurized? not pasteurized milk or they eat eggs right from the chicken like they just rinse up maybe they rinse it off um the outside coating or whatever but they uh and here in the u.s they put all eggs in the refrigerators okay you don't and i know in europe you can buy eggs right off the shelf like literally on the shelf you just buy the egg and you can crack it and in japan they have something they have a dish that you have rice and you just crack a raw egg over it and you don't have to cook the egg. You just mix it right in your rice. And it's perfectly healthy. Because they're the, the, what they feed their chickens and how they handle uh, how they handle the, the egg and everything like that. As well as, you know, even when you go to dairy with cheese um, and milk and everything. They pa they don't... That's, wait, which one is it? I get it mixed up, sorry. The pasteurized or... We pasteurize our stuff. They don't pasteurize their stuff. Or whatever. Anyway, there's a lot of little things that are very baffling and I just never knew until recently. My understanding is that the, that is mostly a food handling thing. It might be it's something like that, but I know that in Europe they can buy eggs right off the shelf to the point where sometimes you might end up with a chicken if you buy eggs off the shelf because it might be fertilized and they didn't know that when they picked up the egg. 
<laughs> so some people come home and they find out they have a pet chicken waiting for them in their kitchen. Anyway, <laughs> um, but here in the U.S. you will never have that. You'll never accidentally buy a chicken from your eggs, you know? In the U.S., the cuticle gets washed, something like that. I think that's it. In other countries, they leave it so it's insulated against bacteria. Yeah, thank you, Nick. I think that's it. You just nailed it. I've had that happen before with an egg when I was a kid. That's so cool, Koji. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Wanted food. Got pet. <laughs> I, I saw something like that. Um, It was in England. It was in the UK. Someone made a YouTube video. And they, they, they bought quail eggs off the shelf or something like that. And uh, like a few days later, they ended up with their own quail. And I was like... Huh? How does that happen? And and one thing, I was like, why are they buying it on the shelf? And I remember seeing that video, and I was just like, huh. That's that's really different from what I'm used to, because I've only seen eggs in refrigerators since I was little, since we I grew up here in the U.S., so... Free pet chicken infinite egg glitch. Right, Shishi? Right? <laughs> it's simply future eggs. <laughs> you know, that's true, Nick. That is an investment. You're right. If you can raise the chicken, you're, you'll, you know, life hacks, right? Are you okay, Safty? Suddenly he started coughing. I don't know if it's because we got a big breeze. He has allergies too, so. We buy the eggs off shells, but you can't get... Oh, you can't get a chicken. They are good to check that they are unfertilized. Oh, okay. I guess some places, maybe in the UK, they didn't check them. Though you have to feed the chicken. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have the cost to feed the chicken. But yes, um, I guess... I guess that was an accidental thing. I don't know, but they, they literally bought quail eggs off the shelf. And a few days later, that egg turned into a quail. So I was like, wow, that must be really interesting. But yes, yeah, sorry, we I tend to go off on weird rants. I'm, I apologize, but I am really disappointed with the food quality we have here in the U.S. To the point where I'm scared to even go out to eat anymore. But yeah, but always remember the chicken is simply processing that food into an egg. Right, right, exactly. You don't want to feed it junk, right? Yeah, ours go through scans for health and safety and stuff to my knowledge. And you know what's really funny is that a lot of... The sad part is that there's a lot of... Uh, I hate using this word because it, it's misused so many times, but propaganda that the U.S. is far more advanced than any other country in the world and everybody else is a backwater country and... Um, we're taught that, you know, we, we, we have the best quality stuff. But then you actually do reading and you look around and you travel. If you travel, that's the biggest thing. If you travel to other countries and you have their food, you're like, that's not true. This is totally the opposite. Um, and that's only from my experiences from traveling and reading and stuff like that. Uh, no, it's backwards. It's not, if you've never left the U.S., you, I highly suggest doing it before you form an opinion on, on, or follow or follow what everybody likes to try to convince you of here. Exceptionalism is at, it, at its finest. Exactly, exactly, son, exactly. Okay, I think my ice pack is melted. <laughs> I'm putting ice and heat on my shoulder because I can't turn my head to the right right now. It's all locked up in my shoulder, so. Oh, I'm, I'm like interchanging putting heat and ice on it, sorry. <laughs> Gotten sick once or twice, but I wouldn't eat raw egg here really. Oh, no, huh? I know it's very special, um, like, what is it called? I, I'm trying to remember, um, rice, uh, raw egg, let me see here. Japanese raw egg on rice. Oh, tamago kake gohan, kake gohan? Um, it's what it's called, but you'd never want to do that here in the U.S. either. <laughs> You never want to do that, but what they do in Japan, I know, I don't know if it's a specially, a special chicken that they get it from. I'm not 100% sure because I've never had it, but I know that they, that's a specialty of theirs, that they just have raw egg on rice and it's supposed to be amazing. And I'm like, I want to try that. I really do. Oh goodness, what happened? What, what happened? What happened? Oh, uh, real, uh, real off topic, but how does one build the Dea? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I know that she can't be killed, really, right? Safty has Daya. <laughs> oh, my shoulder pain. Oh, um, I. So I, I think you knew this. I don't know if you knew this, son. Uh, last week Safty left to go visit his parents, and I was stuck at home, 
And just to keep my mind off of things, I was cleaning my apartment. I was doing like a deep clean, spring cleaning on the apartment. And I think I overdid it. <laughs> I really pushed myself. And you know when you have an adrenaline rush from being stressed out? And I was really stressed out because I don't like being home alone for a week. <laughs> I know it's just a week, but I'm like... I feel safer with Safty here at home, you know, because I'm home alone. It's just, it's scary. Anyway, and I also lugged up uh, lots of groceries by myself up three flights of stairs, which normally Safty helps me with. I take the lighter stuff and he takes the heavier stuff. But me being here alone, I had to lug everything up. So, and when you have the adrenaline rush from being stru stressed out because you have extra cortisol, you don't really feel pain, right? <laughs> you don't feel a lot of pain. And then after he got home and I started to settle down and be like calmer, and more relaxed that's when all the pain started kicking in and I'm like I'm really hurting right now so and I'm not seeing a chiropractor anymore and I'm not seeing a doctor anymore apparently because my doctor is a bitch but anyway <laughs> uh, long story anyway so I'm kind of like I need to just nurse myself back to health so I'm slowly gonna get there don't enroll for father instead but what if you end up with Dea when you roll, roll for father it's the wrong pyro but you know it's gonna happen just like it happened to you, right? You wanted Dea. Oh, no, no, something. What was it? No, it was somebody else. They wanted Dea, but they got Diluc. So, you know, they're going to go for Alakino and get Dea instead, right? The wrong Pyro. Or they'll get Diluc instead, too. <laughs> uh, was that from clean? Yeah, it was all from cleaning and lugging up groceries, son. I, I, am, I am in a lot of pain. I, I've been, like, slowly nursing it back to health, but yeah. But I like Dea. No, it's fine to like Dea. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's just... Yeah, I know. I think they just did her dirty. Um, Safti really wanted to like Dea because she, he likes her design. He likes Claymores. He wanted he wanted to make her work. But then they... Oh, thank you for the headpad, son. Um, I have a guarantee from getting Dea. Oh, you... Oh, okay. You rolled and got Dea, so now you are 100%. Are you going for Alakino, Nick? I forgot. I think I asked you that, and I now I, now I forgot. I thought Dea was going to be cool. Saved up, got disappointed with how Hoyo botched her. Rolled for Hu Tao instead. That's true. They really screwed up. They did. Uh, apparently, she was better in beta or something, and then they just went in and, and messed with her. I simply loved Dea, and her being so funky made me very sad. Yeah, I know. It's really sad because she has a a very strong personality, and I and I know a lot of people like her. But I guess check the yeah the Kaching mains is a good is a good um as a good guideline. I don't have Dea, so I don't know how to build her. Sorry, and Safty just is so disappointed with Dea that um or what Mihoyo did with Dea. Not not so much that Dea is wrong um bad in itself because we like her character, but he doesn't like he doesn't like what they did to her anyway. Um, I sure am. Okay, there you go. I um <laughs> um. You did. You build Dea like herself, a brick house of a woman who will unga the biggest bunga on their enemies. That's true, Zero. That's true. Um, apparently, she can't die though. Something like that. I have like 50 pity and a guarantee, so I should be. Oh, very nice, Nick. Very nice. <laughs> ah, wait, what? Hey, thank you, thank you, Jake. Wow, thank you. Five hand to fly. Hey, yo, how are you doing? <laughs> what a greeting. <laughs> Thank you again for the bits. I'm doing good. I'm just stuck on the story. We were going on some weird health tangent, and now we're talking about Dea Adeshia from 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 Genshin. <laughs> mm. So I'm sorry. I know I jump all over the place on topics. I tend to old woman rant every once in a while. So, oh and hey, Mistia, welcome back. Oh God, I'm late. No, you're you're never late, Mistia. You're just on time. Um, I'm just going. I, I'm in a flashback scene with uh. Canis is a very colorful individual, aren't they? Um, I feel that much. I ended up skipping her too because of all the BS. Yeah, unfortunately. But we might end up like... Safty ended up not rolling for her, but now has a C3 or something because he keeps losing his 50-50s. <laughs> he keeps losing his 50-50s to De Deshia, so now he is like a C3 De uh, Dea without even trying. I have still yet to get De De Dea, which... I mean, I wish I would get her so I can build her friendship, but anyway. Um... If there was actually a suitably challenge in Abyss... Oh, survivability. I'm sorry, okay. Challenge in Abyss, she'd be good, but DPS, all the things, is the only test and skill. Yeah, because everything's timed, right? 
if there was just a, a fight, I need to I need to stay alive for this whole fight and last three minutes and win all three stars, then I think that would be a, a Deshi would be perfect for that, right? Because she can't die. <laughs> I have, but uh, I'm not com convention on what the smooth brain Deshi is bad idiots who makes guides on her. Well, it's not that Deshi is bad. It's just that um, it's what it's what Mihoyo did to her, you know. Safti is not um, me uh, a meta player either, but he's just pissed off at how they they changed her. They they said that she was going to do this, and they, they they wanted her to do this, and then last minute they changed her, and that's what was disappointing. But thank you again for the bits, Jake. I hope you're having a great... Um, is it Saturday there now? I don't know where in the world you are. Sorry, if unless it's a happy Friday otherwise. And we're Friday here still, so... That's good to hear. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, like, stuck on here. You know, nothing wrong with that. Well, no, but at the same time, I think I bore people. Because I'm supposed to be here playing the game and stuff. But instead, I, I'm ranting about uh, how poisonous American food is. <laughs> I ended up building my day of full EM. Oh, full EM. With EM Claymore and the full Burgian team. Oh, it's actually pretty good. That's interesting, son. I did not know that. Okay, that... that... Huh. Well, there you go. There you go, um, Nick. Sun, Sun seems to know what they're doing. Let me lose to Dea, please, and not D. Luke. Right, Sun? Right? I am I feel that because I have C4 D. Luke, and I'm like, stop coming home. I'm so dumb. I'm so done with uh, D. Luke. I wish he'd stop coming home. I built Desia with her signature artifact. Oh, and throw caution out the window. She's HP based, right? And just go full sunset yellow overdrive on my enemies. Oh, see the problem with what I have w issue with. Lunar underbar, eclipse underbar. Oh, hey Lunar, thank you for checking in. Uh, thank you for checking in. Um, the reason I don't really like. Oh, and thank you also Sun Luce, for checking in as well. <laughs> the reason why I don't like Deshi is because I have a tendency of spamming my space button, and since uh, well, you know, jump button, right? So. The problem is, is that if you can't jump during her alt, and you mess it up, I'm I, I would be just I would be annoyed, because you can even jump in um Ito's alt, right? You can jump in Ito, so why can't why couldn't they have it? I know why would you do it, but you know you can. That's the point. So you can accidentally hit the space key or whatever and jump, and you wouldn't interrupt their alt, right? But you you can do that in Deshia. I would I would that would drive me nuts. The reality of the situation in Genshin is that floor 12 is the only place that optimizing your build in comps really even matters. That's true, Safdie. That's true. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm doing good. Yes, it's Saturday. Oh, 12.50. Okay, you're in Denmark. Oh, so you're in Europe too. Okay, okay. No, no, it's 12.55 a.m. Yeah, I know. It gets all mixed up. I understand. I, I, I like to use... I'm trying to learn how to use the, the universal time or wait. What's it called? International time? Uh, military time? Something. Like my clock down there says 1558. So yeah. I'm trying to learn how to use that over the default what US always uses is just the, the 12 hour clock. Because um, <laughs> the other way is the PM and AM gets really confusing. And I get it. It's really interesting because it's like I started doing that when I started streaming. Just because what we use here in the US is totally different than what most of the world uses <laughs> so that's why the reality oh sorry i already read that um but yeah welcome back lunar i hope you're having a great day thank you for checking in i freaking hate to look <laughs> i have the same issues with him i know it's just like it, i agree with the ua pop it's just he always shows up i'm like can i have more chi chi i wouldn't mind more chi chi instead i like chi chi personally so um but i keep getting d luke so i'm just like so annoyed and even then, I can it can depend on how hard the current 12, floor 12 is. That's true, too. That's true. <clears throat> he won't stop turning up. Right? Right? I accept all d -Luke donations <laughs> as I give you guys my copies of Useless Kaching and Mona. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I keep getting... I have C2 Mona and C1 Kaching, I think. Yeah, they don't come home as often, but as D loop but I wish I could get more Chi Chi. I want to see six Chi Chi. I, I take your Monas, thank you. <laughs> there you go, son. Um, the thing is, is that Dea is not an insta install super. It's a channel. The thing is that Dea is not 
install su install super sorry i'm like confused by that we'll happily take monas and chi chi's right i love chi 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 chi's my favorite chi chi's what got me to play this game when i saw her design i was like i must play this game because of that you know and also i like Klee. but now my favorite is Na uh, nahida and uh, i still love chi chi but nahida's just i don't know she's she's the best and i could actually see six her so i did <laughs> And it took me both banners to get there, but I did it. I finally did. So even if you go all the way, uh, go out of your way to perfectly tune a Dea team so you can get all the stars in floor 12, you are rewarded with what? At 50 extra primos? Yeah, that's true. Okay, I gotta go. Oh yeah, take care, Nick. Thank you again. Have a good one. I'll see you later. And I'm um, sorry if I'm already too late, but yeah. I mean, I clear floor 12 with boneheaded Dea. There you go, there you go. I mean, no, it's fine. It's, it's good that you challenge yourself, too. Or you can just face roll with Navia. <laughs> True. 24-hour clock. Okay, thank you, Sulf uh, Sulf Sulfon Sulfonic. 24-hour uh, clock works. Yes, I should just say that instead. Um, yeah, take care, Nick. Take care. Military time if you're in the U.S. At least... Yeah, that's true, Dick. But otherwise, I would call it 24 time. Yeah, that makes sense. Farina is a gift since I just don't give a damn about losing health and Farina rewards about going balls to the wall of Berserker. That's true. That's true. Chi Chi is awesome. I only got my first Chi Chi. Oh, congratulations. Um, yeah, I, I, I went so long with just C, C0 and then I got C1. And then on my birthday, uh, I got surprise. Um, I got a surprise Chi Chi on the standard banner. I was so happy. Um, looks like I'm not the only Dea enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a lot of people that like, that love Dea. It's not that Dea is bad, it's just, it's, it's more what MiHoYo did to her through the process. Like, she was supposed to be amazing, like, ridiculously amazing unit. Uh, now there's wind blowing in the mic, sorry. I hope you guys are not hearing that. I'm trying to turn away from the window, but anyway. I've gotten two more since, oh, wow, congrats. Uh, but I would like to win a 50-50 in version 4. Version 4. Wait. A 50 I would like to win a version... Oh, a, a win a... Fi yeah, that makes sense. If you keep getting Chi-Chi's and you're losing your 50-50s. So hopefully you win a 50-50. That's true. Um, sorry, fighting game lingual. Dea ultimate is not... Uh, increased stats and maybe change moveset like Ito, Sino, uh, or Raiden. Raiden? Our ultimate is probably a channel. Or anything that might interrupt the execution will end it early. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, that makes sense. It's pretty simple. After 12 a.m., we'll just be putting time on it until you hit 23.59 and then it goes to 0, 0. And then the counter begins again. That's true. And I like that better because it, otherwise it gets really confusing because they're like, it's 1 o'clock. You're like, 1 in the afternoon or 1 in the morning. <laughs> and, and it's just like, ugh. Anyway. I, I, I just wish we would all use a 24 hour, then it wouldn't be as confusing. I wonder why even we went to the system in the first place. Um, I'll continue with the story. Sorry about that. Okay, could I make a second request as well? One to return a favor. Recovery pod. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you say? You're serious? <laughs> but the fact is, I need help. I can't shake this feeling that things are going very badly out there. Did Master's team manage to meet up with numerous allies like they did Atlantis? Um, or did the heroic spirits who got here ahead of us all meet an untimely end? Uh, yeah, then it counts for the whole day. That's true, Jake. That's true. That's true. If it turns out to be the latter, then I, we need to you more than anything. Huh? That is to say, we need your help. Desperately. And while I'm at it... I also want you to... I want that thing you've been holding so tightly in your right hand ever since we found you. Hmm? My right hand. Oh yeah, I guess I do have something here, don't I? I must have grabbed hold of it when I was floating around in the sea. That's a fragment of the moon goddess, complete with Artemis... Artemis Cleonomia. It's a bloody mir miracle that you happened to find it. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, wait, what? <laughs> there I go again. Ah, whoa. <laughs> Thank you again for the vids, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Please let us have it. It's the utmost importance that we have it. Go nuts. I sure as shit don't have any need for this thing. Ah, uh, what a waste. Phew. It's okay. I don't know. 
I don't know what we would have done if it had broken. Oh, right. I guess it wouldn't, would it? Thank you, Canis. I appreciate this more than I can say. Now at least, now at last that we have the means to fight back. Fly, Panda, fly. Fly the whole room until you have seen all the room. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me for a moment. <clears throat> what, what the? What are you doing back out here, chubby? <laughs> Perfect timing, Manuel. Manuel, <laughs> I need you to bring this to the technical advisor at once. After that, I want you to use every bit of electricity the storm border has at its disposal to contact Sion back at the Wandering Sea, even if only for a few seconds. Boom, boom, boom. Oh no! <laughs> Again? What's wrong? Anything bad happening? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, and thank you for... Er, um, I'm sorry about the ads, but thank you for lasting through them. Um, <laughs> What's wrong? Anything bad happening? But thank you for the cheers. Thank you so much. For the bits. <clears throat> When you do, you are to tell her, we have the last material. Oh. The last material? That's quite a long flashback. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Phew, and with that, my work is done. My subordinates should be able to take it from here. Well then, now that things have settled down a bit, there's something I need to ask you. This has nothing to do with learning our enemy strategy or figuring out it's his weakness or anything like that. I just want to know, out of um, personal curiosity, disbelief, no, this is really only about my pride as a fellow noble. What is your master, Kirstoria Wodime, like as a person? Oh, could I ask you to tell me your personal thoughts about him? <laughs> that smile. Uh-oh. Present time. At any rate, the important thing to know is that Canis is not your enemy. I'll tell you all about it, about the bond of trust we forged later. Master M Mash Kirlite, you two are our last hope for restoring proper human history. Is it, it is for that in, eminent, eminent, eminently logical reason that I risked my own life to help you. Since my gamble has paid off, it's time for you two to take the proverbial ball and run with it. Got it. Okay, we'll get Demeter to point Gamma one way or another. Right, Master, resuming combat now. If she doesn't want to follow us to our destination, we'll have to drag her there, kicking and screaming. Sea anemone? Wait, sea anemone? What about the sea anemone, Shishi? And welcome back, by the way, if I forgot to say that. How are you doing today? Don't worry, I'll give everything. I've got to make that happen. If four swords aren't enough, to, I'll break out my immovable fifth to finish the job. Can we count on your help too, Canis? Even though if you do this, you'll be throwing your lot in with the anti-Atlantic, I mean anti-Olympus Lost Ball forces. Ha, fine with me. If they didn't want me to switching sides, they shouldn't stab me in the back in the first place. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Care to elaborate? <laughs> Sh shut up! Forget I said anything. All I need to do is kick this god's fat ass, right? <laughs> oh, I love Canis's. Okay, Gordov music, time to see for yourself what a powerful asset I can be. Don't you dare miss a second of this. If you so much as blink, I'll kill you on the spot. Now check this shit out. <laughs> Lep Lepithi Canis? I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. Noble Phantasm. Oh, pretty. A bird with golden rings burst forth. Its violent shockwave rocks the, even Demeter's massive core. It's not enough to bring her down, only to make her lurch. Yet even so, all her disparate parts begin shaking it to help keep her balance. To help her keep her balance once, twice. One more lurch and she'll be where the god destroyers need her to be, but it doesn't happen. Uh-oh. We're not done yet! Setting Orton to, max, to maximum output. Preparing to pierce Demeter's base with a bunker bolt? Ha! <laughs> I'm not good at reading exciting words. Sorry. There, Demeter's at point gamma. 
Now's our chance. Firing our final weapon, the Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon. QQ. Ah! That must have hurt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we hit her. It sounds... It, it sounds like she's screaming. Do you hear that? Do you see that? It's working. You're right, I can see cracks where the blast hit her outer shell. Way to go, Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon. You actually managed to crack open the super tough god armor. Oh boy. It's not over yet, do not let your guard down. The blast still didn't manage to expose Demeter's divine core. I can't believe it, her armor is even tougher than I thought. I hate to say it, but I'm impressed. I can't believe she managed to take a direct hit from her Seven Link Heroic Spirit Cannon and remain intact. That being said... Her armor isn't invincible, or invin yeah, invincible anymore, especially now that we've got Canis' spear negating her healing authority. We've definitely got a shot at beating her now. Come on, there's nothing to be afraid of. Mash, master. Don't let up now. Keep hitting her with all you've got. Understood, master. Setting Ortonex Orton output to 80%. I'll keep up the attack, making use of Cleonormia's effects. Aha, so I've got a chance to kill a god now. Perfect. Hell yeah. Let's do this thing. You better believe I'm going to use you for my own purposes, Chaldean dumbasses. <laughs> huh? Was that Nikolai Tesla I just saw now? Is he one of the heroic spirits that got here before us? Does this mean I was working myself up over nothing? I don't recognize the boy or girl over there either. Well, well no matter. Right now, our top priority is taking down Demeter. Leave this part to me, everyone. Is that clear? Begin the attack! Alright, no matter. Begin the attack, everyone! <laughs> uh, he really wants to be a leader, doesn't he? Oh boy. I take it we won't be able to... Oh no. Okay. So we're fighting a caster. Uh, so we're fighting Demeter. I heard this is a really hard fight. So... Um... <laughs> it's gonna be a single target, so I don't really need... I need this. But... She... Ah, this sucks. Uh, because all my single target riders are all quick units. That's AoE, that's AoE. Wait, like, what are they again? I don't think they're that strong anyway, so maybe that's not a good idea. This is a single target, but yeah, this... Darn it! Um, I don't ha It's not that strong. Whereas my... She's stronger. She's still only a thousand, though, but she's at level 90. Hmm... I don't know what to do. I'm probably I'm probably going to die. Probably gonna severely die. I'm supposed to be. I, I wish I had more. Well, here goes nothing. Oh hey, caffeinated pandemonium! Hello. I'm about to get my butt kicked <laughs> by a Greek god. <laughs> Did I find another panda? Yes, I am another panda. Kind of. <laughs> See, if you put on my hoodie, I, I look like a panda. It's a, it's a hoodie panda. <laughs> I can pretend to be a panda. Oh boy. That looks fun. What is this? <laughs> もう諦めなさい。掃除水事選択。あ、ボーイ。好きなものを選ぶ。ああ。はい。あ、ハリーパンダだ。キャンフライ。おお、マイガッシュ。Thank you again for the pets, Jake. <laughs> Yay, pand
Do you have any suggestions on what to do? Oh, thank you for the follow! Thank you so much! Uh, how do you like to be called? Caffeinated or pandemonium or panda or... <laughs> I still can't see this form of Demeter and not think of the aliens from Mars attacks. Right? You can't even see most of it. It's like up here. Just doing my part in helping you learn to fly. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, and thank you for checking in, Reaper. Hello, welcome back. Must follow all pandas. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Pandas. Uh, I follow back. Reaper 147 oh. reminds everyone to stay thank hydrated. You. Oh, Safdie, can you get me um, one of the cans of... Um, just lemon. The, the fizzy water. I know, just... Or, can I take one of the tea ones? Okay. Usually I go by Panda, but due to you also... Well, a lot of people actually call me Giddy here. Um, because of the same reason, there's a lot of Pandas. Oh yeah, Lemmy would be good. Can you heat that up? Thank you. He got me this, um, it's like caffeinated tea and water. Or, or tea and, um... Not caffeinated, I'm sorry, it's not caffeinated. It's... It's carbonated water with tea. It's not seltzer, it's something called spindrift. It's half tea and half lemon. But yeah, it's just carbonated well <laughs> Safety's picking your face up. <laughs> it's caf it's carbonated water, lemon juice, and brewed black tea. No sugar added. Yay. Um, you should go by panda, but do you also be in panda cafe? Well, cafe, oh, caf, oh, like caf, cafe or caf, like caf, like caffeinate? I'm trying to think. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, confirm, yeah, I'm gonna. Incoming damage cut, okay. Um, Reaper 147 ah! trips and drops their bamboo cutting. <laughs> bye bye! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Reaper. Um. Hooey. My thing is that I run a cafe. Oh, cafe coffee shop. I see. That makes sense then with the name. Um. I don't know what to do. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um. Miko? Oh no, damage cut. Well. Well, that sucks. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying that. Um, let's see here. You do school down. I, I don't really play her that often. Five turns. Um. I want to do that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Safety. Uh, give me my heat pad back. So, I'm putting the heat pad on my shoulder. Sorry. I threw out my shoulder, so I'm trying to nurse it back to health. Um, wow, what's this? Uh, for your cell phone, okay. Hmm. Oh, hey, Kuma, welcome back. Hello, everyone, bears and humans. Yes, bears and humans, hello, welcome back. I'm trying to figure out how to beat this. <laughs> I heard it's a really hard fight, so I'm like, great. How are you doing today? Happy Friday or Saturday. Oh, I broke her. Yay! But that's only one. <laughs> Wow. Ah, they removed my buff? Oh, that sucks. No, no! 
Problem. Uh, this is a big problem, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's see here. <laughs> Sad. And here's the frontline experience of Spain. Yeah. This game is not easy. A lot of these. F oh my god, that's it? Oh no, and now I remember why I used Santa Nightingale. Oh! Oh, good idea. What does the panda do? Fly? <laughs> Oh no, she died. Ah, this is not good. Um, well. Oh uh, shit. <laughs> I wanna do something. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. So Santa Nightingale is good for this? <laughs> Why is it so funny using biddies to make panda? <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> I don't waste your money though! Oh hey Nav! Welcome back! I'm getting my butt kicked! <laughs> I think. You can use either Santa Nightingale or Benny Enma for the buff removal. Oh, buff removal resist! Oh, that's what I need. My, my, my Benny Enma is not that good though. Oh no, no! I'm so done, aren't I? <gasps> Bye bye. Well, oh, no. Is that a maid with a gun? It is a maid with a gun, Scotty. <laughs> it's it's a saber altar as a rider. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm going to probably have to use all my command cells <laughs> because this sucks. Oh, man. Green boost? Oh, hey, KS Venom. I'm not doing good, as you can see. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to watch Fate one day because it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to watch the Carnival Phantasm. Um, that's where you get to meet uh, Saber Rider or Saber uh, Rider. It, yeah, this the maid version of her. Um, she loses her aho gay and becomes a maid. <laughs> it's just no. I mean, it's it's a really funny. It's a it's a really silly. Um, again, realizing it is half past two. It no Hoshi, you should get some sleep. Um, let's see here. Uh, Carnival Phantasm. It's a really funny episode. If you want to watch it, here here's the uh I'll get the clip or I'll get the Here you go, Scotty. That's that's a good one to get an idea of. Minato Oh hey Minato, welcome back. Thank you for checking in. You should get some rest, Hoshi. Sometimes when you have to mop up, you have to use stronger materials. Just pop green card, easy. Green boost? Green boost? What's a green boost? Oh, this thing? Yeah, but I... I at the same time, I don't... I, I need 10% more on... Uh, um, he might die, so I'm gonna just use this one. Um... 
yeah, I, I don't have him leveled up, I just put him in because... Yeah. That's screaming, really? Um, See here, uh I guess I can do this. That's a bare minimum of bits to use to make I think any any bit actually I think even one bit will send me flying, Jake, so it's okay. You don't have to keep you don't have to keep spending. <laughs> I'm heading up to bed. Oh, okay, have a good night, Apop. Thank you again. It was nice meeting you. Uh sweet dreams to you. And no, thank you for uh, thank you again for the raid and thank you for being awesome as well. I look forward to catching you on your future streams. Oh wait, what? <laughs> so much chaos! <laughs> oh my god! I think I'm stuck on the screen now. <laughs> I'll put myself back down. <laughs> I wish I could head off. Oh, I'm sorry, Hoshi. I, I hope you can get some rest soon, though. I really do. Oh man, she's almost dead. Um, well, yeah, someone's gonna die. Uh, unfortunately. This sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my. Oh man. At least I broke it. <laughs> I'm really bad at these fights, sorry. Yeah, lovely meeting you as well. Apop, thank you again. Have a great night. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that scream is like painful. Skill seal? What? Well. The stray chicken trips and drops their bamboo. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> No, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I just like. <laughs> I'm just seeing who did it. I was like, oh, hey. Oh, I have guts again? Wait, what? Where did where'd the guts come from? Interesting. I guess that just prolonged my death. She skill seals herself just to mess with us. Oh, I see. Necro memes? I don't know. Oh, well, she's gonna die now, right? Yeah. Bye bye. Oh, I can use Leyline Stone. Good. Okay. Ha 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 ha. she clearing? Oh, is that it? Okay. Well, I can unleash everything. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just gonna go. Oh, last? Oh, it's last? Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Hers goes last. Oh, whoops. I just recently got Tamamo, so I don't know how to use her. <laughs> so I should always use her last. I apologize for my idiot self, but because the mom reaches NP. Oh, I see. 
Okay, so she goes last. And that is overcharged thing. Oh, okay, okay. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me. Her NP gives NP gauge to the party. Oh, okay. Whoa, she's almost dead. Not dead yet, but almost. It's funny, she attacks us and she says, Go Menasai. Yay. Now she's dead. I think. No! Oh, God, what? What? <laughs> no! Wait, what? Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that sucks. Okay, that really sucks. Okay, that really, really sucks. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? I should have used their buffs. I Happen. Oh, invincible! Uh, uh, invincible. Oops. She's invincible right now, isn't she? I gotta learn to like read their read, read their buffs, the buff bar. Well, okay, that did it, right? No! What? What is this? <laughs> oh my god, what is this? <laughs> that was not fair! Oh! Oh, guts bug? Buff, oh buff. What's her obsession with her daughter? I don't understand this. Okay, I was just putting him in for bu that's what I did before. Okay, well I beat it for now. I mean, is there another form? There probably is another form, isn't there? Yeah, Demeter gave herself an, an unremovable guts on her last bar break. Oh! Oh boy. There, we managed to get her outer shell off. Did it work? Yes, Demeter's outer core is severely damaged. What appears to be her divine core is now exposed. Ortonax's output remains stable. I should be able to maintain anti-divinity combat mode for at least 10 minutes or so. Her daughter Persephone, who got yoinked away by Hades? Oh, okay, okay. Yoinked away? Like, just... I don't know Greek mythology as well. Um, come to find out, I don't really know much, if any of it. So, I'm like trying to learn. <laughs> FGO teaches me a lot of stuff about random, uh, how to say, historical, mythological, m mythological stuff that I never knew about. Um, I didn't realize that Hades yoinked away Persephone. Is it Persephone? Uh, maintain anti-divinity combat mode for at least 10 minutes or so. We're almost there. We, now we just need to take out her device. Uh oh. There's more. Right. <laughs> hold it. Just hold the hell up. Are you dipsh- <laughs> Are you- <laughs> Are you dipshits blind or something? You can't just ignore her cleronomia. <laughs> Persephone. Persephone. Okay, thank you. Persephone. Thank you, Aqua. Thank you. Oh my God. The fit. The way that. The way that Canis calls everybody's dipshits. <laughs> uh someone must have had a lot of fun writing Canis's uh, dialogue, huh? Persephone. Such a funny name, right? Perse. Perse. Persephone. Persephone. Sorry, Persephone. <clears throat> Damn it, she hasn't completely stopped regenerating. Uh-oh. Um, that doesn't look good. I can confirm her infinite regeneration has started up again. Her wounds are beginning to close. 
Damn it, we were so close. Demeter, how much are you going to mock us? Well, what are you all doing? Go on, keep... Wait. Go on, keep hitting her. Canis, can't you use your land authority to neutralize her regeneration? I am, damn it, but it's not... It's still not enough to stop that bitch of a goddess. <laughs> uh, Persephone. Like how you want phone means? All, say, all I say is that the first part of the name is a cuss word in my language. <laughs> I did not know that. That's interesting. Like, you know what phone means? Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't look like how it... how... It's not written the way you think, at least in an English... American English way of pronouncing things. It doesn't look like it's Persephone. Makes me giggle, uh-oh. This damn Lost Belt Demeter really is directly descended from Gaia, isn't she? Damn it! I started celebrating too soon. Oh boy. It would seem this is all. It, this is well and truly the end. Even with all of, all of all, all our great strokes of fortune, we still weren't able to defeat her. We thought we had accounted for our enemies being more powerful than expected in our designs, uh, but her regenerative powers exceed even our wildest expectations. The Olympian gods truly seem to surpass us in every way imaginable. This isn't over yet. If you punks can beat Poseidon, you you can sure as shit beat Demeter, Demeter too. Besides, nobody kills you jackasses but me. <laughs> now take this, Master. It's a little present from Mustache. He said this thing's guaranteed to be a game changer. <laughs> and gives me a mental image of a goddess of farting on a phone or something. <laughs> oh my, what a uh, what a what a visual image, Hoshi. <laughs> Uh, she said this thing's guaranteed to be a game changer. Phew, just barely caught it. Is this some sort of attachment for the Ortonex? Is that... No way! That's right, it's a new piece of Ortonex equipment. Caldea's own technical advisor designed in tandem with our Atlas Institute alchemist ally. It's a form of cancer made to bring down beings of, of a scale far beyond human capacity. We call it the Black Barrel. Wow. It's a natural longevity conceptional weapon, one of the seven taboos. Not that I know much about it myself. Wah ha 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 ha. <laughs> a former cancer, now I'm invested. Oh boy. We don't need more cancer in this world. Did I beat it? Is there more? No, <laughs> I don't want to be more. Uh, no battles. Wait, what? This is all story? Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> nice catch, Master. So what is that thing anyway? I'm not entirely sure, actually. I bet Mash will know what to do with it. Foo foo! Special translation. Nice pass, Master. <laughs> yes, Master, I know exactly what to do with this. During Sion's lecture of life scale, she talked wait, she talked about a paradox effector that could let someone use a measurement as a weapon. Did they stuff my personality in the game? <laughs> right, Hoshi? <laughs> oh. Da Vinci took that concept and ran with it to make a new mechanism for the Ortonex. I actually had a hard, I had had a time to practice using it in a simulator while I was on standby at the Wandering Sea. Hmm. Oh man, what the heck? What the heck is that? Can she use that all the time? Whoa, cutscene. Whoa, the Artinex doesn't look anything like a shield anymore. But yes, egg weight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have a good night, Hoshi. I hope you have a, a sweet, sweet dreams anyway, and nice comfy cuddles with with egg. <laughs> it doesn't look like a shield anymore. Gee, I wonder why. Ah, whoa! So that's how it all works. It really is a gun barrel, isn't it? Anyway, get ready to have your knock your socks knocked off, Master. You're looking at one of the seven taboos, one of the Atlas Institute's crowning achievements, renowned throughout the entire Magecraft community, or so I'm told. Seven Taboos? That sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Indeed, the Seven Taboos are something of a legend among the Mages Association. They're said to... Blah. They're said to be weapons of Magecraft capable of destroying the very world itself. And the Black Barrel conceptual weapon is, there is one of them. 
Miss Sion already possessed a replica of it. I believe she offered it to Caldea as a souvenir of sorts. I knew she was also working with Da Vinci on a new replacement part for the Ortonex, but I didn't know they had finished their work after we arrived here. Good. No issues with the gun barrel transformation. Output and stability are all well above expected, expected parameters. Send out the accomplishments measure. Begin the black barrel transformation when ready. Here goes. Initiating accomplishments measure. Asserting Demeter's life scale. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. There. It stopped at 4,500. Beginning black barrel transformation. Preparing to burn the dead counter into the gun barrel. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but can someone tell me what's going on here? <laughs> uh, I can hardly blame you for feeling lost. I doubt I could comprehend its workings either, even were I at my peak condition. But while I may not know how it works, I do know what it does. That's Demeter's lifespan. Then again, since she's a machine, perhaps it's her warranty period? <laughs> or her estimated number of years in operation? Well, no matter. <laughs> The point is, as long as this universe has a finite lifespan, there is nothing in it that will last forever. Out of warranty, right? Everything that has a form must also inevitably have an end. A limit, if you like. That gun barrel can measure that end and make it tangible. In other words... So it's a weapon that copies its target's mass and throws it right back at them in the form of magical energy. Precisely, I must say, Canis, you're far more intelligent than your behavior would suggest. <laughs> He's he's looking he's looking at a death wish, isn't he? <laughs> he wants to die. <laughs> wow, darn it! You know how expensive OEM parts to replace, right? <laughs> right? It's it's not that it's not the kind of weapon you could usually carry around like this. But in this case, I was able to miniaturize and stabilize it by restricting the mo measurement function to machine gods only. Wow, tech. Sion gave me the blueprints for it for some, some time ago. All I needed was a benchmark to use it for its core. The first benchmark was Poseidon's Divine Core, and the second is the fragment of Artemis that Kain Canis was holding when drifting down the Atlant from Atlantis. That was the last piece of the puzzle we needed. Hmm, so that idiot Artemis turned out to be good for something after all, huh? But the barrel still needs ultra dense magical energy to do its job, and that means we're going to need you to use a command spell, Master. And not just any command spell either. No, this one's going to have to be a little different. You'll need to use everything you've got your magical energy, your stamina, even your own fate. Make no mistake, if you miss a shot, you won't get another. And since Mash has her hands full working the Ortonex, you'll need to work together to time it just right. She'll do the aiming, you'll pull the trigger. Don't worry, I've got this. Now that's what I like to hear. Okay, good luck saving proper human history. Thanks, Da Vinci. Now go get some rest ready. <laughs> Hi, I swear nothing throws you off, does it? Thanks, Master. I'll, I'm counting on you. Let's do this, Mash. Right, Senpai. This may be the only first, uh, maybe the first of Olympus's mechanical gods, but it's still a crucial moment. Uh oh. Oh come on! After everything we we did to get her to notice us, now she's paying attention. Oh shit! <laughs> That's the sound Demeter makes when she's about to get serious. She's storing up a metric shit ton of magical energy in that giant ass of hers. <laughs> oh, Canis. <laughs> I can't believe that's all. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm saying half the time. Cadis's dialogue has been very colorful. It's funny because da, uh, da Vinci was just the town Leonardo was from. Oh, I see. Like being called Greg from Toledo and everyone is just calling you Toledo. I didn't know that, Scotty. Thank you for thank you for sharing that. That's really interesting. Yeah, because everybody just calls her Da Vinci now. <laughs> More foul mouth than a late 90s anime fan song, right, Koji? Oh my god. I really can't. I mean, like, she calls everybody dipshits, and she's like, 
or I'm sorry, he, he, uh, Cadus is actually a he, so yeah, it's just like, wow, it's just crazy. To put in terms you punks will understand, she's just about to unleash her true name. Uh oh Tokyo Pop Sub, right? Man, Tokyo Pop, well, they haven't been around in a while, but they, they were around for, they had a good, I still have their, um, translation of Fruits Basket. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I I love you. <laughs> I really do love you. Persephone. Oh boy. Ah, how sad, how tragic. She must have some big daughter trauma. Demeter's magical energy is rising rapidly. She's about to unleash a massive scream. I don't know what you guys just got. Right, Safdie? I don't know what you guys just got a hold of, but you'd better hurry. At the rate she's charging up magical energy, I don't think she'll care if she ends up blowing herself up. You guys need to get out of there now before you're blasted into eth ether, ether dust? Ether dust? Ether dust. Yeah, ether dust. It's alright, we'll be fine. If my calculations are correct, we should be 0 0.5 seconds fast. Ah! No! <laughs> God, that scared me. <laughs> it might not be much, but it's enough for us to win. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. <laughs> Connection in place. I've measured Demeter's destiny. Now I'll use the dead counter to turn it from speculation into reality. Mash using Oculus, right? <clears throat> Bunker Bolt is at its limit. Uh, gun Barrel is fully stabilized and synchronized. Master, load command spell. Loading command spell into Spiritron Chamber. Barrel replica, full trance, goal, Artanex. Wow. Pew pew! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that doesn't look good. It's funny because it like cuts off the music just like that. How dramatic. <laughs> That's it! Wow, okay. I guess the next one, no battle. Yay. Bye, Demeter. Yeah, right? Aww, Aqua. <laughs> the black beam of light. So there isn't a second form? Was a dream, a fiction designed to kill a god. A conceptional blade forged to shatter beings with nigh infin infinite lifespans. The concept of natural lifespan capable of ending the world is what made it possible to bring an end to a life that would otherwise go on forever. The gun barrel replica, charged with the god slaying particles, made it possible to shatter unshatterable, unshatterable life. The black being of light brought death, a, final a finality, an end. Demeter got cut down by demi demiliters. <laughs> demi dem dem I can't pronounce demiliters. Demiliters. Okay. That's a funny pun. Ah, at last. At last, I can finally make my way to you. You left my embrace when you encountered the darkness. You changed irrevocably. Irrevo 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 you became a mother and gained so very, very much. You smile so proudly when I lost you forever during the fourth ma ma Machia. I've never forgotten that smile. I loved you so much. I loved you more than anything. Persephone. At last, I can finally go where you are. Demeter. Please tell me. You're? Oh, you're not Persef uh, Persephone. What are you? You there, from another planet. You're supposed to be my beloved daughter. Oh, it's the creepy thing. Demeter, goddess of the land. Now that you know you're about to disappear, don't you have any regrets? That's very kind of you. I do have one regret, just one. I can only pray that these new tiny intelligent beings, these 10 million of my darling Olympians, are able to find peace. I 
pray that when their time comes, they are able to go without suffering. Aww. Direct hit, the magical energy bullet punched straight through the divine core. Her divine core. Target's magical energy readings are failing rapidly and the hostile entity signal is fading. I can confirm that the enormous hostile entity entity has gone completely silent. I've not seen any magical energy readings either. Congratulations, everyone. The operation is over. We won. Woohoo! You won. You actually defeated Demeter. Is this is this really happening? Anti divinity combat complete. We won, Master. Thank goodness. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Mash. I can't move anymore. Uh oh. Senpai! Foo foo! Yes, I'm seeing this on her end too. Master's vital signs are dropping as we speak. Both her magical energy readings and vital signs are at dangerous levels. This must be that thing Da Vinci was talking about, Mash. Senpai, grab hold of my shoulder. I'm so sorry. Aww. Senpai! Boop. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Yay! St. Quartz. St. Court. Sorry. Bunker Bolt A. Now it's Black Barrel B. <laughs> wow. Increase Buster Card Effectiveness one time. Okay, now it's Increase Buster Card. <laughs> I don't even really use Mash much, but. Uh, critical Strength of Buster Attacks and Apply Ignore Death. Ooh, Ignore Death. Huh. Okay. She got an upgrade. Hanging Gardens. Hmm. No battles. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Records Fragment. <laughs> I can see why a lot of people would just skip through these stories. They're very long-winded, but they're, they're really good. These ones are really good. If anyone were to ask when my life changed, I know exactly what I would tell them. Springtime was the when, when I was 15. That said, this isn't the kind of thing you, uh, this isn't the kind of thing you go around telling people about. By all rights, I should take it to my grave. Oh, hey, Dazroot! Hello, welcome back, how are you? Good to see you again. I'm playing FGO, I'm just on a, stuck in a story part. I caught you right as you were leaving Sun's stream last night, I think. You were going to bed and I just got there, so sorry about missing you. Um, yeah, this is a story part, so I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. Back then, I was enrolled in astron astromancy, ast astronomy, astromancy department at the Clock Tower, a.k.a. the Mages Association headquarters. Oh, no, I missed you, too. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I, yeah, I just noticed the timestamp right as I came in, and I noticed you left, like, I don't know, it was like 10 or so minutes, 10 or 15 minutes before I jumped in. Um... And I'm like, oh, darn, okay. Well, anyway, I hope you had a good night and you had uh, a good rest anyway. The wind's really blowing in. Maybe I should shut the window. Hold on a sec. I'm going to go shut it because it's just blowing into my mic. Okay, sorry about that. There was like a really strong breeze coming in my window. I start my business. Oh, squirrel Ed. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. That is neat that you're actually going to take it to a whole new level of editing. That is really neat. Um, as 13th heir to the Wodime Leg. Oh, is this Kristaria's story? May 20th, my website and Fiverr account go live. Oh, nice, nice, Das Root. Congrats on that! I was the 13th heir to the Wodime legacy, the child who had been uh, granted the protection of the stars. 13th child, wow. I feel sorry for the mom. 
I was said to possess great, the greatest magical circuits of any Wodime to date. And that I was a genius who had already been promised the keys to the Wodime family uh, in a few years, but time by the 11th head of the estate who led the family even now. Those were the sort of things everyone would say about me. Me? A genius? Even though I usually spend each day sifting through other departments' files? That was always the sort That's of response- That's 23 adjusts oh. Panda's hoodie. <laughs> Thank you for the hoodie. That was always the sort of response I gave, but I did so more from conceit than modesty. I knew I was talented, I was confident I would one day be exactly what everyone expected me to be and more. I wanted for nothing, not lineage, not talent, nor, uh, nor affection. I can't read that fast. Um, with so many things working in my favor, it was easy to push myself to greater heights without leaning on my environment. Oh, thanks. Back then, I took pride in my excellence and would constantly work, work to further improve myself. I believe the, those blessed with natural talent should still continue to apply themselves, should set their sights on even greater stages. I was completely convinced that there was nothing I could do, I could not do, sorry, and nothing that was beyond my reach. Child crouching on bridge, dot dot dot. For start, dot dot dot. <laughs> For the past six months, cro uh, crossing the Great Bridge to reach the Evocation Department College had become something of a routine of mine. I noticed what appeared to be beggars by the path of the at the opposite side, but I never gave them any thought. At, any, at the time, I didn't even see them. It wasn't that I disliked them or that I was trying to avoid them. It was that, for me, they may as well not have existed at all. I was a prodigy, born to carve out a new, a new age of magecraft. I didn't have time to get involved with people like them. I was born into an environment far better than most could hope for, with talents far greater than most could dream of. That was why I had a duty to fulfill. I was going to create something beautiful. I was going to create something wonderful. It was the that idea, uh, that ideal, sorry, that passion that made me apply myself to my studies day in and day out. It was the reason I so frequently visited that college, even when I, I it arguably belonged to an enemy. Huh. I didn't realize how arrogant I was. I was being how childish. Ugh, so much reading. On that day, I was headed home. Ugh. I was headed home later than usual. It was the middle of the night with no one on the bridge and the stars hidden behind the clouds. Man in hat. It's Kastaria Wodime. Ooh. What? Everything happened so fast that I failed to react in time. That turned out to be a fatal mistake. I, was I wasn't surprised that an assassin had been sent to try to kill me, kill someone as young as me. I was surprised because my... Oh! Ah! Oh, okay, no problem, Jake. Uh, it's reaching 2 a.m. in four minutes, so I should probably go get some Z's. Yeah, have a great night. Thank you again for the bits, and thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, thanks for the stream, and hope to rest. Uh, the rest of it is good. Thank you. I'll be ending soon anyway. I'm just going to finish this up and then end it, too, because I usually end it around this time. Thank you again. Have a great night. Sweet dreams to you, and um, hope to see you again soon, um, whenever <laughs> where you're able. And fly, panda, fly. <laughs> Oh, welcome back, Cage. Hello. Are you are you actually lurk? You're gonna lurk now. I, I'm sorry. I'm like, is it welcome back or is it? Are you lurking now? <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry, Cage. Um, the music cut off, so I'm just. It's just like all like some backstory for. Oh, you are here. Okay, the stream is ending. Last week, no four days. <laughs> no. Um. Well, I mean, it's it's five o'clock. Our my time. Right? Oh, well, you know, seventeen hundred, which is five p.m. Pacific. So I. I need to end it soon to eat, go make dinner for Safti and I. I was peeking back in from the Oh, you're peeking back in. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I see, I see. Um, but no, no, thank you for peeking back in. I appreciate it. I'm just stuck in the story. I beat the meter, the boss, um, a boss, and then now it's just going into uh, some backstory. I guess we're going back in the past. Um, let's see here. I was surprised because my would-be assassin was a manservant I had frequently seen in my house. Oh, really? Wait. I counterattacked automatically before I even had er uh, before I even thought about what to do, thanks to the spells that had been engraved into my body. The assassin never got another chance. Vacuum blades sliced him to bits before he could pull the trigger again. Wow. 
But it wasn't it was enough. He had already critically wounded me and there was no hope of escape. He wasn't the only assassin who had been sent to take my life. I knew because it's done. Send out more send out more men. Find Cristaria's body. Uh oh. It was my father trying to kill his own son. Wait, what? What? But he was the thirteenth son, so you would think they wouldn't want to kill <laughs> I'm really, really lost. I'm confused. What's going on? <laughs> what kind of father is this? Aqua knows something, right? Yeah, Kish's life was hard. Oh, okay, Estray. That's really sad. Gah. He fell into the river. Find him. Uh-oh. Of course, I wasn't the one who had fallen in. It was my ring after I had cast a weight alteration spell on it. I knew it wouldn't do more than buy me some time, but at the moment, it was the best move I could make. After I drew the assassin's attention towards the river, I activated a footstep cancellation spell in my shoes and got as far as away as I could. Okay, now what do I do? What, now what do I? Now what do I? Yeah. My consciousness began to fade away. I went back to the bridge instead of heading to the city exit and my strength gave out just as I was making my way to the narrow back alley. At the time, I didn't yet know that my assailant's weapon was an ordinary magecraft. Rather, it was kind of a poison, just like the sort used, uh, used by a famous mage killer that was designed to attack magical circuits directly. Wow. That's no good. Gah. Oh, hey, Runic. Welcome back. Runic Tablet says hi. How was your movie? Did you see the movie? I, or you're still heading out to the movie? I was in a dimly lit room. Within it was nothing more than the sound of dripping water and the scent of mildew. I was on a makeshift bed. Oh, of course. A makeshift bed made from an old wooden crate. Uh, a bare minimum of bandaging had been applied to my back. There was no pillow, no blankets, no res and no restraints on my arms or legs. No, I, no, I didn't. We instead got fish and chips. Oh, okay. So the movie's for another night then? I hope you enjoyed your fish and chips. I was technically free, but unfortunately I wasn't able to move so much of a, as a finger. The wound in my chest had yet to close and I lacked the strength to even stand. I had been laid down to rest with no more than no more ceremony than a corpse. Are you going to lurk, Desroot? Where am I? first I thought my assassins had captured me, but then I realized they would have no reason to keep me alive. After all, since it was my own family was trying to kill me, there was little sense in torturing me for information. Oh, there's ads. Oh, sorry. I couldn't understand what was going on. My thoughts refused to the, put my thoughts refused to put themselves in order. Still just barely conscious, I managed to crane my neck enough to observe the dimly lit room. Something creepy? Oh my god. The thing is actually called something creepy. He 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 Oh my god. <laughs> dot dot dot. Something was in the corner of the room as if it were trying to hide from what little light there was. It was then that I noticed something strange staring directly at me. Oh boy. Seriously? Just when I decided to stop by so it doesn't look like I've been gone for two days straight. He's just sleeping. I can't believe this guy. He's just basking in the sun, snoozing away on a bench without as much of a single guard. Hey, hey, Wodeme. Don't you think it's time you got up? You are the Crypter's leader, right? Aren't you the one guy representing humanity in the power struggle between Olympian gods and humans? How can you just leave yourself completely defenseless like this? Come on, wake up already. Is that you, Kadok? Wait, Kadok? What are you doing here? This is my room. Never mind. No, it isn't. This is the Hanging Guardians of the Great Orbital Shrine Olympia. Well, that was careless of me. The sunlight was so pleasant that I didn't even realize I had fallen asleep. I was dreaming about something I hadn't thought about in a long time. I feel very silly. I guess I just got too relaxed without Canis around to keep me in line. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. Before I could waste any more time. 
You don't have to thank me. I only spoke up because it was weird seeing you like that. Weird? How so? Well, you're not exactly the sort of guy to just doze off uh, out in the pu in public. You're like perfectionism incarnate. You don't get to take naps like a typical college slacker. <laughs> I see. While I do take some issue with the impression you seem to have of me, I also understand now why you why it is that you were so surprised. I'll be more careful in the future. Now then, what is it that you wish to see me about, Kadak? Do you have something to report to me? Oh crap, I was shocked seeing him sleeping like that. I forgot I didn't actually have anything to tell him. And I can't just fib, or he'll know I've been up to something. Wait, I've got it. They got Demeter. One of the great gods of Olympus, gone just like that. Some perfect being she turned out to be. Oh, and one more thing. A tan lancer with white hair was helping them out. Luckily, it looks like Europa didn't catch that part. So how's it feel, Wodime? How's it feel knowing the loser you thought you disposed of is not only alive, but actively working against you now? <laughs> what is that is a surprise. I never would have expected Canis to go over to Caldea's side. And they managed to destroy Demeter's true form? They must have been far better prepared than I thought. Oh, and welcome back from the ads. If you were an ad, sorry. Um, I want fish and chips. Aww, sorry, Safdi. Um, they must have been far better prepared than I thought. So, a tiny rebel force managed to bring down a powerful authority figure. How very rock and roll? Wait, what? No, wait. Heavy metal feels more appropriate, given the composition of the gods' bodies. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, am I going deaf, or did you just make a lame pun about music? <laughs> I guess, I guess Kristar is getting affected by, uh, Bamboo Force chat here. Salmon croissant? Oh no! Salmon, salmon. Aw, Safdie. Okay. <laughs> no! Don't, 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 don't tempt him. Oh god. Apologies, perhaps. I, I have not quite awakened yet. At any rate, I'm surprised you knew something even Queen Europa did not. It almost sounds as though you were there watching things unfold in person, Kadog. You must have found yourself a very good familiar indeed. Well, you know, I can't just sit around here mooching free grub forever. I'm still a cryptor after all, so I need to be ready to fight again at least one more time. I see. Then make sure you take good care of that familiar. An ace up your sleeve can mean the difference between life and death after all. Rest assured, you don't need to tell me, the, uh, the other cryptors, or anyone else in Olympus, what yours is. That said, if it should come to light that you were using something that you shouldn't be... Then I will unfortunately be forced to respond in whatever way is appropriate. I have my own role to fulfill, after all. Uh-oh. Shit, how does much as he know? I better change the subject fast. So, uh, by the way, about Demeter. Caldea might have been able to beat her, but it still wasn't because they straight up overpowered her. It looked like- it looked to me that Demeter was looking for something. No, that's not right. Maybe trying to recover something. She kept apologizing over and over. And now- to the Olympians she was killing, but to the pers to one person in particular. That's the only reason they were able to destroy her. Any idea what she was looking for? I see. So that ho did hold her back, as I suspected it might. Just like in proper human history, this Lost Belt's Demeter ha once had a daughter she loved dearly. Her name was Persephone. It's said that Demeter wept long and hard after Hades stole her away from the un to the underworld. Yet despite that, she never stopped loving her daughter. But a few thousand years ago, her daughter died during the fourth Machia. Hang on, Rodemon. That doesn't add up. I don't know if she was a full god or demigod or what, but I thought people didn't die in the city. Not necessarily. Humans are simply incapable of killing other humans. The immor immortality humans enjoy in this Lost Belt is not true immortality, but pseudo-immortality. The gods can easily end their subjects' pseudo immortality immortal lives if they wish. So the one who killed Persephone was... One of the gods? You mean one of the gods from the Coexistence faction? No, it was not one of them. Then? Perse Persephone sided with the Coexistence faction. So Zeus ordered Demeter to kill her own daughter. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god, that's really sad. That's why she's like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, exclamation mark. So she was calling out to the daughter she killed as if she were still alive, huh? Sounds almost human of her. 
These gods are machines, right? How can they function properly when they are contradicting themselves like that? I understand your confusion, but it is precisely their machine nature that means this was no contradiction at all. Their minds don't work like ours, after all. That's the tragedy of the 12 Olympian machine gods right there. Man, Kadok is my spirit animal? Really? Why is that, Cage? Whether gods create humans or humans create gods, both sides usually share a common understanding of the world in which they live. But the Olympians are different. They weren't gods to begin with. They were only came to be defined that way over time. Wait, what? The Olympians are different. They weren't gods. Oh. It's because their functions enabled them to control the weather, provide endless amounts of food, destroy various life forms, memories, and mass produce weapons. That led to the residents of this lost belt seeing them as gods. They then incorporated this definition into their functions in order to operate more smoothly on this planet. After all, the people of the ancient world wanted superior beings they could pray to, not cold, unfeeling spaceships. While seeing him again reminded me, back in his original lost belt, I related to him. I related to a lot of some of his motivators and thought processes, not the ending of the world part so much, of course. Ah, uh, okay. You know, honestly, one of uh, Lost Belt One was one of the ones that I kind of skipped around. I, unfortunately, I um I know that's really bad. So I only caught parts and bits, bits and pieces of the story. So I, I didn't actually get to know much about Kadok. Um, but yeah, he's 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 still alive and he's he he plays an interesting role in, in Lost Belt Five. So I hope this is not like uh, spoiling it. We've all been there. Well, I was just like, I need to hurry and get through this, right? So I kept skipping it. I felt bad. And now I'm like actually slowing down and and reading the story. But it's so long. They're so drawn out, aren't they? And so they accepted the new roles they had been given and became mechanical gods instead of mere machines. As a result, they ended up making this god play acting into a new directive, all without ever understanding how the intelligent beings treated them as gods actually felt. Holden and feeling, huh? So is that why Demeter went nuts? Because she ended up with feelings tacked onto herself when she didn't need them? This was less of a matter of contradiction than it was conflict. Humans can rationalize acts that, like that, uh, like that by telling themselves there was nothing else they could have done. But she had, but she had no choice but to treat the uh, order, the order to kill her own daughter like any other assigned task. It's not spoilers for her at all. Oh, okay, no worries. I'm supremely anti-spoiler. I just really remembered how much I liked him. Ah, I see, I see. It's been a while since I've played more. Barely touched it after finishing up. See, I... Oh, okay, so you've gotten all the way through. I'm still, as you can see, um, quite behind. <laughs> so that makes sense that after you beat all of that... I still haven't even done 1.5. I think I did one of them. <laughs> I'm really behind in this game. It's really, really sad. She went, she wasn't crazy, she was just in pain. That's what it means to be a god in this Lost Belt. It's also why they were able to realize a real-life utopia where nobody has to die or grow old. And here I thought machines always operated on pure logic. Alright, if that's what the gods were like here, then what's your game, Odime? Your goal is to bring about the age of gods again, right? Is that really the kind of god you want to be? Of course gods should run this world, that being said. The future, the answer I seek, is a little different from Zeus's. What I seek, Kadok, is the, an even more perfect age. An age where there will be neither conflict nor contradiction. It is my responsibility to see that age come about, and it is why the foreign god wishes. Dot dot dot. <laughs> oh man, okay. Oh my god. My throat's killing me! <laughs> uh, well... At least I got seat quartz for that. Alright, so. Well, there's that. Um. Ooh, stream. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Nick is streaming! Did I just raid him yesterday? I can't remember. Who did I raid yesterday? I forgot who I raided yesterday. Anyway. Oh, I did? Okay, I did go to Nick. Did I? No, no, I went to... I went to someone else. Now I don't remember who I went to. Oh, correct! That's right, and, he, and they ended. 
Well, Nick is streaming, and I mean, he's doing Genshin right now, but it might be... He was just here earlier. Uh, he, I don't know what they plan on doing, but they also play FGO. Um, well, there's also someone else playing Genshin here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Fubi is also playing, uh, streaming uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Dead by Scary, scary stuff. Um, that's right. Thank you for reminding me, uh, Necro. Have a good one, Panda. I'll have more time this month to hop. Okay, no problem. Thank you for stopping by again. It's good to see you. Yeah, good night, Scotty. Um, hope you have a sweet dreams with that. Uh, let me see who else is. Oh, that's okay. Figure Remy is somebody that um actually knows who uh it was really a small world kind of thing. They are the one that also knows uh Xenix, right? Weren't they the one? I'm trying to remember who they were. <laughs> I, I forget who. But anyway, well, I, I know that Nick is, uh, and he's fun, so he's doing um, Genshin. And so I can watch while, you know. Or should he go to Figuremi? Safety? Where do you want me to go? <laughs> Fine! Oh, good night. Wow, you're still up, son. Wow. Have a great weekend if you get some sleep too. And so, same with Scotty, aren't you? You're you're it's late there too, aren't, isn't it? I, I just don't know what else to do. What should I do? What should I do? I don't know what to do. Well, figure on me. I mean, I, I I did recently go to Nick, so maybe I'll go back to. I haven't gone to her in like like a month, a month or so. Okay. I'm gonna go say hi to Figure Remy. She's a bunny VTuber that's also playing Genshin right now. Um, she's so cute and yeah, she seems really nice. So, 2 a.m. the night is young? <laughs> sure, if you say so. <laughs> oh, I know the section. Oh, is it gonna get good? Oh, thank you, Mistia. Yeah, um, I, 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 I'm gonna end it here for today, but yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm at this part, so. Uh, hopefully, I, I will someday. I, I'll probably try playing some of this offline, but uh, it's so long, so long. I agree. You agree? Only 2 a.m. Oh my gosh, Neff! No, no! Don't encourage Neff to stay up late. Well, that's all right. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Sorry about that, but yes, I am gonna be ending because I need to go cook dinner and figure out something and go for a walk and hopefully, you know, feel better <laughs> anyway. But yes, um, Figure Emmy is playing Genshin. She, she's adorable. So yeah, we'll go say hi to them. And uh, thank you again, everybody, for being here. And thank you for watching. And thank you for all the raids and the bits and and the gift sub from Necro to um, Zero. Thank you again. Uh, but yeah, the bits from Jake and uh, a, a person. The follow from Caffeinated Pandemonium. Um, wow, we have we had so many. We had one play raid. What, what, we, we met, we oh, fire raided, and we met Apop, because uh, Apoptosis, Apoptosis, I call them applesauce. <laughs> and then also uh, Bear, Raflex Kuma raided earlier. So yeah, thank you so much, everybody. It was a really fun Friday. Tomorrow, I'm doing a collab playing Wildermyth with Safty, Xenix, uh, Luck, and um, Rinx. So we're getting together, and we're going to try playing a new game. We're gonna start a new game. Um, we can play up to five people apparently, but I guess the five, fifth slot is gonna take a while. And I'm, I volunteered to be the fifth slot since I can watch and, and chat and watch and, and read chat and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna mostly be watching the other people play while I sit here and, and, and entertain chat or whatever. So we're gonna play a new game and it's, it's kind of D&D-ish. Um, it's mostly storytelling and you, you play with adventurers and then you can, they can have kids and then the kids will be adventurers. It's kind of neat. Anyway, it's, it's kind of like pick your own path kind of thing. So that's going to be fun. So if you, um, want to check out a, well, it's a, it's a new old game. For, it's a new game for us, but it's an older game. Uh, if you want to check it out, we'll be here 1 p.m. Pacific and we're going to be playing Wildermyth. So with, um, a bunch of friends. So. Uh, hope to see you guys there. If not, no worries. Uh, see you whenever I do see you. Have a great weekend. Uh, there will be raid messages in the uh, credits screen uh, when the credits are rolling. And then enjoy Figuremi. Uh, have a great night, everybody. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.
Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Legendary!